at times. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hello, welcome back. <clears throat> welcome back to Bugs Part 4. Uh, you know what? I was about to head right to our next mission point, but we should actually try to uh, talk to the doctor again. Or the mad scientist, or whatever he is. No, that's the way to the telescope, in it? Because he had some metals that we probably want. These things. Hello. So much data to sort through feels like I'll never finish. Let's snatch it. Okay. Hello. You're here. Thanks for the help in the factory. It was nothing, Doc. Anyway, I wanted to show you something. You see this big machine behind me? This special machine lets you relight, oh, refight old foes you've met in your journey. Oh, really? So this is where No More Heroes 3 got the idea from. Is that possible? Yes, as long as we can get a crystal which recorded your fights. Ancient crystals have the ability to record their surroundings, right? Roaches use them all the time to store data. My machine can read said data to recreate certain moments of the past. All it is needed to find a crystal that recorded what you've seen on your dreams. Where would you find said crystal? Well, you're explorers, right? You probably already have something that has crystals in it. Be waiting for you to figure it out. Can't you just tell us? I know, right? Um, are there crystals? And the bee hat. Dang it. I wish we could just snatch one of those. Hey, uh... Sally. Welcome. And hey, Duskus. The permit has crystals in it? Authentic permits... Well, okay, see, I feel like... They make it so ambiguous, why would you assume that your permit has crystals in them? I would assume it was some special item I haven't found yet. It must be overloading with combat data. I don't get how that works. You don't need to understand. Just check the computer behind me to start the boss program. That's strangely ambiguous. Technology has advanced at an incredible pace. Indeed, I've registered you all under the boss terminal already. If you have any questions about it, come back and ask me. I'm so eager to see it in action. So, <clears throat> is it that we're going to have to perform boss challenges in order to unlock these metals? Is that is that what's going on here? Do we get anything from it? You will get some XP, but since those are simulations, the amount you get is very reduced. But if you do well in rush mode, I can give you some metals and goodies I have stored. Empty. Uh, I might have to do this off stream just so we could save some time. Well, let me think. We've only fought a few bosses so far. Hmm. I think I'll come. I think I'll come back to this and do this off stream, so that way, the stream, you know, we focus more on progressing the, the main story. Hey, rewinding. I do remember Pong, Sally. I'm... I'm old enough... To, well, actually, Pong came out way before I was born, but... I still remember it. Uh, hello, Clifford. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Alright, so let's go ahead and, um... Progress to the next... Point. Wherever that may be, maybe we'll finally go to Tan- I feel like we're not gonna go to Tangerine's homeland until like the sixth chapter or something. That's my guess. Oh, if you use any items during the boss program, you'll get them back. Nice, that's good to know. Still looking. The fire Roots got its charm as well. Sand doesn't do much for us. Not the most proper, prosperous. People trade and work together to endure thirst and bandits. Historic side with tightly knit community. Could this be the place you'll call home? Not yet. 
but each hope will bump into I hope will bump into each other once more. So this guy's looking for a place to live. Um yeah, I like playing indie games, Sally. Indie games are are bueno. Alright, so I'm sure there's a shortcut around here somewhere to get um Oh, well, here we are, right here, I think. Yeah, it's funny, we didn't get to check out this. Oh, we didn't get to go down this way. If you keep going down this path, you'll reach the Golden Settlement. I'm gonna look real quick. I'm not gonna like keep walking. Well, here's an item store. These, these, this couple. I'm just gonna head back up here. All right. Yeah. Let us head back to the Ant Queen. We're gonna. We're gonna make some good time today. That's my goal. We started good, our controller is working, everything's good. Hello Team Snake Mouth, I can bring you to many places, some for a small fee. Any of these sound appealing? Ant City Plaza. Um, That's right outside, isn't it? But I don't get what the benefit of that is. I don't think we picked up any bad books or anything. Let's talk to that old lady again. I wonder if she remembers anything now. I worry about Ellie too. Rebecca was around even in the early days. She was taller but dressed the same. Really stuck around. I've never met a bug so old. Right here. Yep. Eep. Um, sorry. <laughs> really? I thought it was funny. Hypno Space Outlaw. It sounds pretty cool. I don't think I've played it. I don't think I've ever played it or really know much about it, but it sounds pretty cool. Yo, Queenie, we got another piece of the puzzle. Team Snake Mouth, it is my joy to see you return with good news once more. We've brought the artifact, Elizin. And by we, he means all of us, isn't that right? Not indeed. Without Zas, Mathiva, Jen, uh, Jen, and Eri, we may have not succeeded. <laughs> it's nice to see you all working as a team. Today marks a historic day. We have finally found all the artifacts. If only words could show my gratitude. I thought there was one. There was like another piece or two we still had to get. Zarian, please hand them the reward. I can only hope it's enough to mark this wonderful day, as you can. I wonder if we're gonna have to fight this guy eventually. He just looks like he'd be like a badass opponent. Um, Hypnospace Outlaw is basically a 90s internet simulator. Oh, okay. Another crystal berry. And more muns. My, this might have been worth the trouble. A new brooch is coming. May I? Inspect it, Professor. Mark the end of this long search. I guess this is only half the key. Splinters. Speak now. This isn't the- yep, this isn't the whole artifact. What? Explain yourself now. Was this not in your notes? Look, this artifact has a small mechanism at the bottom. It's missing a half. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. A half curses. Where would we even start to look? We were so close. Time is running out. What do you mean? The Wasp Kingdom grows bolder each day. We hoped we could gather them all before they made their move. Their move? Are they going to invade or something? Calm yourselves down, we just need to find the other half quickly. That's so, you're gonna love this then. Oh, Stratos and Delilah. My esteemed scout team, you have something to share? If we overheard right, a half is missing, yes? We're super sure it's within the Lost Sands. Yep, that one area they were checking out. The sands hide more secrets still incredible. In the most plain of corners, a sand castle hides, but only with two special keys will the winds uncover it. We suspect the missing artifact is there. It used to be an area previously inhabited by the roaches, according to my notes. A sandcastle, you say. Where would its keys be? The mayor of Defiant Roots holds this secret, but he asks that we told everyone here first. This is great news. We have a lead again. Zariant, reward them. They have prevented this day from being an utmost disaster. Um, 
<clears throat> Sally, I think I got Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Epic Game Store for free. So I definitely have that one. Reminds me of 90s internet. My nieces and nephews called me a boomer because I like the game. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm old now. 90s internet. I don't think I really got to use a computer until the early to mid 2000s. Well, like with internet and stuff. Anyways, it was nothing, my queen. We live to find secrets. We'll head out ahead to investigate further. Just reward us later. Ta ta. Epic Game Store like gives away so many free games. It's crazy, and the fact they they don't just give away like small whatever game, like throwaway games. They they give away really good indie games. They give away like triple A games once in a while. It's pretty crazy. I would send Maki, but he has yet to return from his mission. Team Athiva, Team Snakemouth, leave it to me. Her name, their name is just Team Mathiva. And it's two people. That's, that's really narcissistic. Leave it to me, my queen. That key will be yours before you realize we've gone. You bet, and we'll be the ones to bring it. Can we cooperate? No. Some healthy competition won't be the worst. See yourselves, we'll finish this search. Best of luck, everyone. Orders are clear. Speak to the mayor of Defiant Root and begin your search. Okay, chapter four. Mysterious Lost Sands. Now this is this is interesting because we are immediately revisiting the same place we just went to the last chapter. Like we had to cross through the sands to get to the beehive. And now I guess this next chapter is a place within the sands. Honestly, the sand gets all over my fluff, and I've got errands to run. Being a star and explorer is so taxing. Ah, boo-hoo. Go, Mothiva. I will manage until you return. <laughs> this is why you're my partner. See a snake mouth, losers. He's your partner because he's just like a... He's like a mega simp. Who knows? Without her here, we might actually help each other. Ooh! He's finally starting to learn. Let's make sure to finish any of our business before departing. Stocking up on some items would be wise as well. Some spikes in the desert, right? If we could cross them, we could search a bunch more places. Spikes are much compared to electric shocks. Our bubble shield should be, yep, be able to get us across. Excellent, let's prepare and see what new paths we can explore. Oh, you got something for us? Kabu, yes, Nia, may I be of service? I found this during my research, but the queen's been too involved in the artifacts to take notice. Mysterious peace. What's this? I can't discern its purpose. Can't say for sure, but I think it's the key for somewhere. <laughs> Didn't you guys just say we need to find two keys? And now he's like, huh, I found a key to something. <laughs> Last night I got was in the outskirts east of the association. We'll look into it, Neo. You have my word. It's probably for something else, though, but it's just funny. Okay, um... Ooh, interesting. It looks like a bug's head. Da -da -da -dum -dum. Uh, well, I wonder if... Uh, well, let's save, first of all. And you know, I think we'll hit up the bank again and like maybe... Well, a few things. We, we, we should check out if there's new metals we might want. You know, stuff like that. Do, ba -do, -do, do We want to take all open quests. I'm not even gonna bother looking at them. <laughs> Just take everything. Oh, the metals guy's down here, I think. Sure is. That looks new. The equipped allies do nothing command restores one TP. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted some type of, like, last, like, possible thing you could do in a turn when you can't do anything else. That, that, that's pretty much exactly what I waited for. Um, 
I really still wish it would tell you how much they cost before you bought it, like how many slots it takes up. The mysterious pieces for a side quest. Um. Yeah, let's grab this. Well, we're probably gonna have to start up upgrading our metals. <laughs> Finally. Okay, well we don't want that. Wait, what's this? Healing items used by equip bug will heal one more HP. I wanna see if there's anything else. Ooh, what's this? Decreases allies' chances of being frozen. See, a lot of these I feel like... They would benefit more if we knew what was coming up. B still doesn't have those those uh, needles. I'm sure this would- wait, what's a secure pouch? Oh yeah, unable to sell items and you fleeing won't drop berries. That is pretty good. Um, I bet you those poison needles are good once, once V gets the needle skill. I just don't know when we'll get it, so it might be a waste of money to buy it right now. Alright, it doesn't look like there's too much more new. Like, obviously the poison metal would be good for if we wanted to fight that secret boss. But, uh... If we, could, we could always come up after I beat the game and possibly try some more extra stuff later. But for now, we're going to just focus on the main story. Okay, I don't think there's really much else we want at the moment. Let's see, are there any items in here we want? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. Leaf's request should be available to you now. I forget what Leaf's request was, to be honest. I'm surprised we didn't run into V's sister. I have no idea where she is. I honestly feel like I might turn this one off because I don't know. Um. Wait, where's the one that we just bought? Oh, those are equipped medals, that's why. Okay, so this one costs two. So, hmm. All right. For now, I'm gonna turn off that and this so I can get the meditation. Because I don't mind fighting weak enemies. And, and if anything, we can put the hard badge on and make the weak enemies harder. Um, what do we have in here? Oops. And is there anything we want to store? Um... Increases defense. This also increases defense. We probably don't need both right now, so I'm going to store that in there. Okay, on. And... Hmm... Elf. 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 Alright, so we want more TP stuff. Let's see, let's get a few of those honey drops and cook those. And let's get four. Continue your stream starting shenanigans that keep happening and check out Loop's request. Uh, so just keep doing what I'm doing is what you're saying? Look, all these honey drops. I'm glad you could speed that up. Now, if only you could cook in bulk. Okay. 
And then we'll hit up the bank, deposit the rest of the cash we have right now. Oh, our, our, uh, our savings are growing quite nicely. Important lesson that saving is good. Are you new? Huff, how can any bug live here? The sun is so strong. Oh, we haven't found your hat yet, kid. Sorry. I was wondering when you might stream this again, but you know, didn't want to bug you. Okay, fuck. You want to know what really bugs me? Nothing. Because I'm an accepting fella. Okay, that's not true. Some things bug me. Oh, but isn't that hat for someone else, uh, Duskus? Because someone else specifically said they wanted a bee fashion hat. But we could try to get, give it to him. Let's see what happens. That wouldn't look good on me. It's not my deer hat. <laughs> Uh, hey, Davidson, how's it going? Bugs, yeah. Oh, a, a two-ingredient recipe. The reason why I haven't done any two-ingredient recipes is because I... Uh, you know what? Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll experiment. I feel like I'm just going to get a mistake, but... I don't think we found any cookbooks yet. I'm going to fuse together a honey drop and a crunchy leaf. And to me, that'll make like maple something. I don't know, maple syrup or... All right, so crunchy leaf and... Oh, I thought I bought a, whoops, I forgot. I forgot, we just cooked them all. Oh, I don't- I didn't have money, because I just deposited all my money. Duh. Honey leaf. Possibly. What was it? I'm just gonna take the knife. See, I'm trying to save up my money like a good little bug. You know, watch my interest grow in my account, but you want me to spend all my money, and we will do just that. We will spend, we will splurge. All right, give me my chow. Worked. Honeyed leaf. Ooh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good, not gonna lie. Cool. And it looks like the logbook even updated. I'm guessing it keeps track of our, our recipes. Yep. Nice. All right, I think we have enough items for now, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Keep on moving on. So now we are headed to, um... I just for forgot the name of the place. Oh, well, when I see the sign, we'll, we'll find it. Need to try more things with honey glaze. It's pretty good. Yeah, we'll, we'll try more cooking stuff uh, next time. Just because I don't want to have to uh, go withdraw money again. <laughs> whoa, 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 where the heck am I going? Usually there's signs. 
like... Okay, maybe this is the same. Golden Path, Snake Mouthway, Ant Kingdom. Okay, I don't think we want to go this way. Oh, shouldn't I talk to this Oh no, this guy only gives you stuff for when you fight a boss, right? When you beat a boss. Let me let me just talk to him anyways. Alright. What do you have to say? Team Snakemouth, you picked up my quest? Is that bad? We just like to help. No, I just figured you were busy with more important stuff. Don't sweat it. If it pays, we'll do it. Alright, thanks a lot. Your team's more reliable than expected. It's a pretty simple job, really. Take this package. Okay. What's this? Don't open it, okay? Just deliver it. My friend's a diver ant in the Bulgaria Pier East from the Association to reach it. Just keep walking. You want to pay us now or is it your friend gonna be? <laughs> She'll be waiting with a little something. No worries. Cool. We'll get going then. Good luck with the paperwork. Uh, Leaf's request. I, I don't know what Leaf's request is, Duskus. Like, you, you brought it up, but I don't remember what Leaf wants exactly. Well, I don't know if I should fight bosses for, with hard mode on when I'm fighting them for the first time. I mean, that doesn't seem to be a very wise decision. But we can always fight the bosses again, um... In the lab, now that we can we can go fight again. Metal Lake. Now none of the places that I've read right now is where we're supposed to be going, but we've never been to Metal Lake yet, so maybe we're supposed to go to Metal Lake. We'll give it a shot and think. It seems like we have been this way though. This looks familiar. Oh, it has to be the actual boss fights? That's kind of weak. Because you're fighting the, the boss again, so why should it matter? And I mean, if you're playing for the first time, you're not likely to be using the hard mode badge for bosses. You know, you gotta leave yourself open for more challenges on a second playthrough. Bulgaria Pier... Look at the chapter header in the quest log. Um... Yeah, Defiant Root. That's where we're supposed to go. The Mayor of Defiant Root. But I can't remember where that is. You can buy stuff you don't get in the post game. Well, that seems pointless though, because then you've already beaten the game. Better to just start over again, no? Um. We do that. How do we get to that map? There it is. Oh, Defiant Root. Settlement was built to house travel. Oh, it's that place in the desert. Okay. Gotcha. So we are kind of headed in the right direction. Okay, cool. Back to the quest log, look for Leaf's request. After the Snakemouth expedition, Leaf realized how much time had passed since being trapped by the spider. Venus gave Leaf some hope, mentioning how the rest of the scouts had managed to flee. Is Leaf's family still around? Oh, well, I don't... I have no idea where they are. But all right, so we're just gonna head on to, uh, were you? Oh, that's an enemy. I thought that was a, just a friend. I thought that was just a stranger. Well, let's fight him, cause that's a new enemy from what I can recall. All right. 
やーやれやれやったったらバンディあっ that's weird I thought we spied on all the bandits can't say we've seen one before times must have gotten rough as long as we deal with them quickly we have no need to worry over our possessions let's freeze it in its tracks oh it is kind of a jawa licking wasp huh Do what we do best. Oh, they didn't freeze. Let's. Mm. Oh, needle toss. When did we unlock that? That's it. That wasn't. Very great. I guess that you can spread your shots out, but that was only two, one, one. Oh, but they do have one defense, so that would have did two damage each normally. Yeah, I guess that's not bad. We definitely should get that poison needle metal then. I had no idea we, we had unlocked that. I must have missed that. And then I'm actually going to turn relay to leave so we could attempt to freeze them again. There we go. Froze one of them anyways. Ow. Oh, and he stole something. That's not cool. Hey, Sally. Welcome back. I don't like when you steal stuff from me like that. I was gonna say. Not a fan. Wow, these guys have more defense than you think. You'd think bandits would be like lightweight and they wouldn't have much armor because they're bandits. They need to be quick and agile. But what do I know? Yeah! Got him! And you know what? I'm gonna do nothing for a couple turns because now we have the badge where if we do nothing... We gain TP, which I love. Now we have another way to gain TP. Brilliant. And then we'll have, um... Let's have them both do nothing again. And then... We'll just finish them off now. I looked it up, and you need to beat the boss of this chapter before you can progress Leaf's request. Okay, well that's good to know. I appreciate you looking that up, uh, Fak. Because... I know you haven't played this, so... That's really going above and beyond. Hey guys, it's like we're in JoJo Part 3. Oh, we still never went that way. Oh! Alright. Interesting, the guy in the back froze. You don't have any armor, huh? You know what that means, don't you? Yep, you sure know what that means. It means you're gonna get tornado toss, sucker. Frozen. You a frozen head. And we're gonna do nothing for a, a bit so we can, uh... It's too bad you only get one, um... It seems like it's like whoever's the last person has to do nothing to get the t one TP back. I wonder if... if Like one person does do nothing and then the other people attack if you still get one. 
Maybe. Let's see, I'll, I'll try it out right now. I'll have... Wait, okay, so yours do nothing. Okay, it's the person in the back has to do it, it looks like. Because if V does it, there's the symbol to get it. The leaf didn't have that symbol. Interesting. It's like another, like, thing where I'm just, like... Like an extra little... Condition. Like, this game has a lot of, like, conditions. But they're not, I guess... I'm not always clear about, I guess. I think we want to go this way. a normal guy again. Whenever I see like an extra large bug, I'm like, oh, that's just a friendly stranger. Oops. Whoops. A triple mash in that B button. Oh, you can cut through them while running. Sweet, I didn't know that. All right, Wasp Kingdom is up ahead. West is the fine route, which is where we are headed. So now here we are. Let's talk to you again, just in case. Okay, we're still not sick. Good to know. Who's your favorite Beatles, says Rewinding? Probably George Harrison. I think George Harrison is probably like the chillest Beatle. And I like a lot of his songs. I mean, I like, I mean, cause I, I love the, the Beatles are like one of my favorite bands for sure. They're probably like in my top three favorite bands. So I like a lot of their music, and I like a lot of each of their solo stuff too, but George Harrison is probably my favorite. Oh really, that's your, your favorite too, nice. Oh, they're your favorite band, right on. Um, the little scorps aren't in the bug me not- Oh, I, I took that badge off, feck. Because I needed room for my, uh, here I'll show you. I wanted a, this meditation badge, so now when we do nothing, we, re we gain one TP. Oh, it's only equipped to V, that's why only it's only work. I forgot that this game has a lot of badges that are for each person. Because I guess in Paper Mario, I'm thinking most badges are for Mario. And then you have... Yeah, okay. That's what was going on there. I was a little mi mixed up. Need to remember that. Uh, what's... What's your favorite Beatles album, Rewinding? So we want to talk to the mayor. How's the little guy going? We couldn't be happier. Oh, that's right. That's the bed bug person. It's, uh, well, no worries, Fat. Clearly you retired. If you... Oh, here's the mayor, I think. I actually just did that at the start of this stream, though. I, I swapped the badge out. Kabu, good to see you. Delilah's filled me in. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you for everything. Don't think of it. You've got info on the sandcastle, correct? That I do, the castle's an ancient roach structure, rumored to be at the northeastern corner of the Lost Sands. Mind you, that rumor's older than I am, but this is a weird tablet in that part of the desert. There is. We've actually seen that tablet. 
It's the only clue we have, so any ideas how to get in? Scholars say you need the heaven and earth keys to enter the castle. I've got a lead on only one of them. It's said to be with the bandits. Uh, they've been causing us enough trouble as it is. Yeah. I like that they use as a word. Like, you don't usually see that. Ask around town. Someone could have a clue on the hideout's whereabouts. Yeah, I know, yeah, you're right. We basically are working with three Marios. That's something I have to get used to still. Maybe some have even heard of the other key. If Elizant wasn't lying, time is of the essence. It's time to search. Stay safe. The sands are unforgiving to the unprepared. I have my team. Worry not. We'll protect each other. I have no doubt. Even so, you've got to accept this little gift from the good old mayor. 45 berries. Mayor, this is too much. It really is. Take it, Kabu. You can't say no. Thank you, Mayor. We'll return safely. Very nice, Mayor. Um, Rewinding says it's a tie I can't quite break. Sergeant Peppers and the White Album. Well, those are two good choices. Um... I really like I really like the White Album. I mean, I love Sgt. Pepper's is great too, obviously, but the White Album is definitely really up there for me, just because there's so much and there's so many different kinds of songs in it. I but I think Abbey Road might be my favorite album. To me, that's like the pinnacle of like the Beatles, and it's crazy that that was like the last thing they did together. And considering a lot of like the tension between the band, that they were able to pull off something so so good. Like, how often is it that the last album from a band is, like, still at their peak performance? Like, that's very rare, I feel like. Jack said, I got Beatles Rock Band for the 360 forever ago. I don't think an experience has ever made me dislike a song as much as playing through Helter Skelter. Oh no, were you playing... Were you doing the drums? That would be, like, especially, uh... Messed up, probably. When I get to the bottom, I go to back to the top of the slide. We're gonna have to talk to everyone, I just r realized. I've heard you saved my mates from some bandits. I'm bad at this, so I'll only say it once, thank you. No problem, now for a reward. It was nothing, we look forward to buying for me in the future. All the tourists coming back from the festival, business will be good. I think Abbey Road was the first, um, well, it's the only Beatles album that has, I think they were up to like 16 track recording at that point. So they were just had way more to work with. And they had like the first like synth like commercial synthesizer that ever came out was, uh, they got that for that album. So. Bag of Flour. Ooh, I want to get, I'm going to get that just so we could cook with that later. Cause obviously, you know, you could cook with a bag of flour. You know, the food is good when, when the, the chef is a, a plump chef. I think that's a saying, like don't eat food from a skinny chef or something like that. Obviously that's just an exaggeration, but. Um. Oh, eating this will grant you an extra turn. Next turn. Scientists say it's a bean. No one cares. <laughs> That's funny. Like a cocoa bean, I guess. Um. Oh, it's like a coffee bean. Probably, because it's a hustle berry. Never trust the skinny chef. There you go. Uh, God, yes, I was on drums, fooling myself, thinking it would be fun to try those out. That's probably the worst song you could have decided to try the drums out on. There's a there's a reason why Ringo yells, "I got blister on blisters on my fingers" at the end of the recording session. Wait, the beast chef needs help. We will help you train. Had this idea for a dish. I'm gonna need a spud. Um, if I had a spud, I would totally give it to you, but I don't have it. 
But if we happen to come across a spud... Travelers, I can see the scars of battle on your bean. Oh, is this going to be like the Merlins of Paper Mario where they give you good luck? I only wish to help. I've got some powerful berries on me. Oh, just how powerful. For a second, I thought this was going to be a reference to... My potions are too powerful for you, Traveler. These berries can boost your combat abilities when you and you can't really share them. Hang on. Whoa! HP boosting heart berry. Okay, so are, these must be permanent effects, I'm guessing, yeah? Because for 100 berries, if that's a permanent effect, that's worth it. Just think of the HP, V. Just think of the 100 berries, Leaf. Alright, we'll come back when we've decided, sir. Oh, how much berries do we have on us? The mayor just gave us a bunch. Damn it, we need more. That is- I am gonna get- I, I'm, I think I'm gonna get that. I wonder if we could possibly sell... Can I sell to you? Sorry, so... That's worth 10, so that would get us 81. That would get us to 90. Uh, 95. They actually had to do some really cool stuff behind the scenes to make the game, like how the recordings had very few audio channels. They had to separate out of each of the instruments uh, for it to work in game. Yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense, Fat, because most of the Beatles catalog would have been recorded on four track. So literally that meant they had four tracks to record on. And if you think of their earlier songs, that, that's pretty much plenty. But like as they got, their songs got more complicated, you know, there's like, there's already guitar, bass, drum, vocals. And then maybe like, oh, lead guitar. Oh, then like, you know, a, uh, I don't know, just a whole different all kinds of stuff. It, or, orchestral stuff, strings, uh, backup. So yeah, there was definitely a lot of track bouncing they did where they would record multiple things on top of one, tr on top of single track. So it's actually a miracle they were able to do that. It was probably a lot of work. But anyways, I'm gonna sell all this stuff so I can buy the, uh, thing. Hand it over! Alright, so we need to decide who to give this to, though. A bond berry? Oh! No, I want that now, but I... Okay, where's the nearest ant tunnel? Because I have enough money in, in, in our savings. I wish there was more branches of that bank so in different places. Uh, oh, hello. You took my request. Beat some bandits. Those blessed bandits, I'll never forgive them. Please, I cannot do myself. Go myself, I have my reasons, besides I'm not equipped. Leave it to us. I need you to defeat at least 20 of them. Any of them will do. So they're literally just paying us to go beat up people. That's funny. Like not even like specific people, just any of this type of people. Beat them up so they stop attacking the citizens of Defiant Root. This is basically the vigilante quest. As long as they stop attacking us, you'll rece receive your reward. Okay. All right, who's this fella? Check my mecha claw out, spiffy, ain't it? A new frontier of weaponry awaits, buy my claw. Cool, can you like uh, turn us into cyborgs? That'd be pretty cool. Are you a blacksmith? Can't just leave the forge, how will I get that ore? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, is that what that well was? I was wondering what that was about. save first of all. Where was that well at? It was somewhere- here it is. 
What the? Word spreads quick. You look. Oh, yeah. Well, this is for the main quest at least, so that's good. Maybe I can help you for thirty berries. God damn it. That's why the mayor gives you berries, so you don't have to go back and get berries, but now I have to go back and get berries. Gosh darn it. Oh no, it was on the left side, I remember now. Because it, it's right next to the elevator. I should say the west side. But you know what I mean. Hello? What do you want? Queen has approved escorts between the outskirts and defined route. Will you ride the curve? Um, I will in a second after I do this. So we need 130 berries, actually, because 100 for the the berry we want, and then oh, well, I guess we'll talk to you. Oh no, that's a sign that tricked me last time. I think they do that on purpose. <laughs> They're being sneaky. Rewinding said, I love the later stuff when they're experimenting with their sound and adding so many different layers to their music. I dig the clean cut Beatles, but I prefer the long haired weird ears. Yeah, definitely. Like even the early Beatles where it's, they're much more of a pop band is like still pretty good because, you know, they're writing their own music. They're playing their own music. And it's, even if it's a lot more simple, you know, it's still, nice for what it is but the later years when they were you know evolving and experimenting more yeah that, that's definitely a lot like leagues ahead i would say how to rewind the stream because ran looking for some chicken nuggets well don't worry about like catching every little bit of the stream rewinding it's probably better if you're just watching live that way we can like communicate easier Your level or knowledge of this game is somewhat intimidating. Um, okay. okay. Whoop. I think I have a hard seed put away. Wait, why did I go down to the badge guy? I need money. A lot, it's weird. Like, the Beatles were like 50 60 years ago and the every boy band slash pop group slash whatever like manufactured boy band that's come out since then has basically been attempting to recreate the early Beatlemania that's what every pop boy band is trying to do that's what every k-pop band that's popular right now that's literally all they're trying to do. They're trying to recreate the formula that was the early Beatle years. And the problem is it's just manufactured. It's like some producers getting together a, a certain number of people that look appealing and having them dance on the, you know, whatever. And it's just, I don't know. I like, I don't want to shame anyone for liking stuff they like because it's whatever. But musically, it's just like, it's just devoid of soul. It's just, it's literally just, it, it's just trying to make money. It's like any other form of media, just trying to make money for the sake of making money. And it's just real, I don't know, it's weird. The Monkees back, fun, yeah, that, that was probably the first example of a band literally created to try to recreate the Beatles. Although the Monkees did end up making like their own music and stuff, down the line, which is, you know, that, that's good on them that they actually like tried to be a band. Anyways, Todd, come on, it's lunchtime. Oh, mom, can I play a bit longer? Sweetie, you need to eat. It'll give you all the power you need to play all day. I made your favorite a tasty, hearty breakfast. Whoa, thanks, mom. That's one of my favorite dinners too, is breakfast for dinner. Leaf, who is Muse? That's our wife. What? Your wife, but Leaf, that's impossible. Then she's got to be your super mega granddaughter. That's right. Isn't it great? You can meet up with your relatives. No, not at all. How can we face them like this? Lost to time, not even understanding ourselves. It can't be that bad. To them, we're just a stranger. If we're going to intrude on their life, we need to know the truth about what happened to us. 
We'll help you, Leaf, every step of this journey. Oh uh, yeah, and when you're ready, we can come back and meet them. Thanks, let's keep an eye out for clues. We can't ignore our mission, though. Let's keep going. Even so, we're glad to see them safe and happy. Well, hey, well, there you go, Duskus. We started off that mission. Okay, but, but, yeah, Leaf is not ready to talk to them. It's funny, all I had to do was walk a little bit to the left. Alright, let's, uh, take, I don't know. I'm really glad I've been saving my berries and my bank account this whole time. And we'll get we'll get the poison needles badge later. Yup, da ba do ba do ba do. I'm actually curious what everyone's favorite bands are now. Like, if you could think of, like, maybe, like, your top, like, three favorite, or just, like, a, if some of your favorite bands, like, if you can't think of what's, like, your favorite favorite. Um, oh, we want to go back down to the tunnels, don't we? Rewinding said, yeah, you're right, and I'm not into shaming any music that anyone likes, but the Beatles were playing music to play music, and all these other groups have been just trying to be f as famous as them. Yeah, and, and I'm specifically pointing out, like, the the manufactured boy bands and stuff. And, well, not just boy band, there's, like, girl bands, too, but you know what I mean. Like, I, I don't automatically say that, like, all pop music is just fake or whatever, for instance. Like, there, there definitely can be uh, good modern pop music. Not that I, like, am really caught up on that all the time, but occasionally I'll hear a song and it's like, oh, that's pretty good. The reason why I want you to do the B Chef quest is because the item you get access to is an item that refills 12 TP and it's really easy to make more of once you have access. Well, I'll keep an eye out for a spud if we run into one. Duskus says my favorite band is They Might Be Giants. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I like They Might Be Giants. Like, I'm not a big expert on them, but I know, like, a ton of their songs just because they do music for so many things. Give me that bomb berry, baby. Do not have any more berries with me at the moment. Good. I don't want to be tempted. <laughs> Kabu, is this your dad? What? V, we look nothing alike. You look pretty similar to us. Excuse me, the green hues are completely different. Uh, maybe all beetles just look the same. Wow, so do all bees. Hey! <laughs> See? You guys can't... Look, may maybe you guys can't tell the difference, but... It's a species thing. There's a spud shop to the right behind the bot. Well, you know what? Let me pay off this guy first. You're a wise bunch here. Oh, rusty key. That looks like a sword. Um, what's this? The key? The bandits lurk in the southeast of the desert. That's your ticket in. Just how do you have this? Well, no matter. We best start planning our trip. Here. Okay. Now, let's, hopefully we'll be able to afford a spud. So. Behind the boxes. Spud shop. This would leave the place, right? So you must be talking about up here. Under renovation, come back soon. Are you talking about the place that's under renovation? Just enjoying some shade, stop staring. Sorry. Shady mosquitoes are everywhere, huh? Hey, the juice seller in the Golden Settlement is honest. Indeed, V, you shouldn't generalize a whole group. Jeez, I was just saying. I'm assuming the spud place is that place that's huh? behind the boxes. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, danger spud. Danger shroom. 
Poison bomb. That looks like a strawberry, but they like sewed in another fruit into it. Poison dart. So, do they want a a danger spud, or do they want just any like any spud will work? Hello there, lovelies. Welcome to my humble store. Are you the Merlin? I offered yes, yes. I love it for only a few berries. This is one of my favorite things to get in Paper Mario. Yeah, the more the the better charm you get, the longer the last. Yes, please. Ah, uh, we can only uh. Dang it. All right. Let's see what we could do here. First, we need the spud. Now, okay. So regular charm is 20. Let's see if we can just sell something here so we can afford that. Oh, you don't want to buy stuff from me. Luckily, this person will buy. We might have some extra stuff to sell here as well. Really very. That's probably worth something. We only need three. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll sell one of the glazed tunnels. We'll just sell one of those. Alright, now we can afford a regular. Whoops, damn it! God damn it! I was just trying to skip through the pages of dialogue and then I picked the cheapskate one. Ah! Oh. oh well, well, I sold that for nothing. Well, we'll just have to come back here another time, because that's probably not going to last very long. It's generally m much more worth your money to get the more expensive ones. Uh, Rewinding said, I'll listen to everything and I do mean everything. Always obsessed with music. A few of my favorites would be Elliot Smith, Tom Waits, The Smiths, Bad Brains, Leonard Conan, Daniel Johnston. That's a pretty eclectic... Uh... uh group of artists right there um out of those my i i probably like and know tom waits the most i particularly like the the rain dogs album by tom waits i like that album a lot My flower really did the trick. Yam bread. Honestly, pretty good. Awesome, I'm ready to step it up a little. Just a little, let's see. Ah, uh, well, we don't have a succulent berry. I think I was told that you could... I don't know. I feel like I used that when I shouldn't have, but whatever. Now, uh, I guess we're just on our way to the bandit's place now. Oh, but we're supposed to talk to... So talk to... I don't know. Rain Dogs is a classic. I used to play it all day. What do you listen to, Jay? Um... Well, my top three favorite bands are probably um, the Beatles are up there because I already said that. Um, Pink Floyd are definitely up there. And uh, Ween. W-E-E-N, Ween is, uh, those are like my top three bands, I would say. That I, I just love like all of their stuff pretty much. Um, aside from that, I mean, I'm pretty open-minded as well. Oh, are, is this the bandit's place? Did we just pop up right here? Hello. Hey, what is your business of the Wasp King? Oh, it's the Wasp Kingdom. We're just passing by. Passing by. This is the border with the far grasslands Wasp territory. Unless you want to start a war, you better get out of here. No one crosses the border on my watch. 
Let's go, Kaboot. Okay, never mind. That's the wasp. Wait, who's that? That dumb bee won't let me through, uh, sigh. That dumb bee. I just want to see the Wasp Kingdom. Who'd ever want to visit the Wasp Kingdom? She may be seeking the thrill of an unknown culture. Right, let's go down with- Yeah, they did say Southeast. Um, Fact said, Genuinely struggling to think of any favorite bands, I feel like I listen to things song by song. Yeah, that's fair. You don't have to specifically be a super fan of any, like, one group or whatever. I, I know, like, you know, some people just like songs. Oh, yeah, of course, D Duskus, the, the one meme song by Ween, Ocean Man. Which is fun, it, that, that's like, as a, as a Ween fan, that's mind-blowing that that song became a, a, a meme. So many years after it came out. Um, yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. I think I'm gonna actually turn relay with leaf. And so I can try to freeze them like I like to do. Yeah! And then, um... How would I do nothing? Um, Pink Floyd's awesome. My cousin is totally obsessed with them. I never listen to much Ween. What's a good song to listen to? Uh, see, that's the thing with Ween is that their music is so all over the place. It's... If you listen to one Ween song, you could, like, really like it or you could hate it. And then, like, another Ween song would be, like, completely different. Like, they're very eclectic. Um, but if you're into kind of, like, classic, like, maybe a little psychedelic-y, maybe a little prog rocky, I would say maybe Buckingham Green would be a good song. Like, it's hard to say. that. Like, like they have so, they have so many different songs that are all over the place um let's just take out these guys one by one i would say avoid their earlier albums if you're gonna try to start listening to them because their early stuff is very very rough and a lot of people probably will never like that stuff because it's so, like, it's just, like, two dumb kids just making, like, all these crazy demo songs. And they're, they're very abrasive. But, like, some people, like me and, like, so, like certain other Ween fans, when you get, like, really, really into them, you start liking the earlier stuff, too, even though it's, like, really, really rough. Um... Like, I would say, maybe start with, like, Chocolate and Cheese. Which was, like, their fourth album. That would, That's a point where their music started, kind of... They were kind of figuring out more of what they were doing. Do I like Tame Impala? You know what? I haven't listened to a lot of Tame Impala, but what I've heard from them I ha actually have liked. I probably should check out more from them. Because, um... I was definitely digging what I what I've heard. Oh, sorry, but Fax said it almost feels like cheating, but Queen. Yeah, Queen's really good. That that's definitely a good uh. That's a good choice. I have a couple Queen albums on vinyl. I think I might have give given one of them away though. But, uh, w which were the albums I had? One of them I had had a, like, crazy little thing called Love on it. Crazy little thing called... Gotta be cool. 
Relax, I just can't handle this. Are you ready? A crazy little thing called love. Brown, brown, brown. Brown, brown, brown. Um, the currents, uh, their current album is pretty good from Tame Impala. Okay, I might have to check that out then. Usually what I do, like when I, if there's like a band that I might be interested in, like say I hear a song I really like. See that? How they attacked me before the camera zoomed out? I feel like that's not intentional. Because gen it was, it was zoomed in because I was attacking. And then the camera would, should zoom out and then let the enemy do their attack, but it doesn't do that sometimes. Very strange. But once, I mean, this is an indie game, so there's gonna be little quirks here and there. Um... Whoops. Oops that up. Uh, Fact, do you have any favorite songs from Queen? And Duskus, do you have any favorite songs from They Might Be Giants? I could talk about music a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate about music. What do you collect on vinyl? I had to narrow it down to only hardcore and any subgenre that came from that scene. Uh, I mean, I don't really go out of my way to collect vinyl anymore. Like I did at one point years ago, I used to like go to swap meets, uh, flea markets and uh, try to find stuff. And it's just, it's just, it takes up so much space and I don't, I don't even usually have my stuff set up to listen to music on vinyl. I should though, because it's really fun to do. Ooh, there's a badge up there. We ought to get that. I don't think I've ever been down here before. What the heck? Yeah, this this must be the way. In fact, that might be the bandits place right there that we needed the sword for. Yes. We, we don't have- now we're gonna have to start upgrading metal points. Yeah. Alright, next time we level up, we're getting more metal points. Sweet. Wow, it's funny, I just think we happen to never come this way. But, uh, here we go. Back to Killer Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, Don't Stop Me Now, Fat Bottom Curls. Yep, yeah, those are all good ones. Rewinding said I could talk about music a lot. Also, I was the quiet kid in school that wouldn't talk unless it was about music. Music is my love in life. Nice. Rewinding, that's cool. I could definitely relate to that. I grew up in a very musical family. Like, uh, on my dad's side, they would, like, play music a lot in the garage. Uh, like, my dad was a drummer, his brother was a guitarist, and their dad was a bassist, and they would all play in the garage a lot when I was really, really little, and uh, they would have a lot of friends come over and play too. This was super easy. Something feels off, doesn't it? It's definitely too quiet and- oh! I don't think I've seen the video for experimental film. In fact, I'm not, I'm not sure if I remember how that goes. Anyways, I think we just got- uh, I think they just got us. We got them, we got them! These are the ones the wasps want, aren't they? Shove them in the dungeon, take their stuff, we eat as kings tonight. Ha ha ha. I can't believe they ganged up on us like that. We're just flattened on the ground. We were careless, they took my beamerang. All our belongings as well, this isn't good. Is this the Metal Gear Solid part of the game? What a disgrace. I should have been more aware. I put you both in danger. Stop being melodramatic. Let's look around. We'll figure something out. Perk, uh, perk up, Kaboo. You can't let V beat you at pep talks. 
You're right, you two are a great team. Let's search every nook and cranny. Well, you can always freeze this. Oh! No, it's just like a prison dripping ice thing. You can't actually utilize it, it looks like. Wouldn't it be an RPG without a prison break sequence? I didn't realize how common those were. Until I think when I was playing um, Delta Rune, I think Fag mentioned that. Rewinding said, "My nice. My grandfather played guitar, a lot of Beatles music, and Mexican music. I love playing guitar. I'm not great, but I love playing. Do you play an instrument?" Um, I sort of had a similar thing too, because my my grandpa on my dad's side was Mexican, so he was into a lot of that stuff as well. Um, um, and I play a little bit of music, yeah. Like, I do a little bit of guitar, bass, keyboard. I'm not, like, good, really, at any of them. But I do just play a tiny bit of everything. The only thing I don't really play, ironically, is drums, which is funny because I'm the son of a drummer. But drums are kind of expensive to, like, try to get into anyways, like putting together a drum set. And then you also need a lot of room for a drum set. This cell's really well, well sealed. It doesn't seem like our ice magic will help either. At least there's water to drink. Uh, you okay there? I've got an idea. V, Leaf, humor me one moment. Not much else to do, really. This is soft soil. I could dig us out of here. Can you really? Sounds pretty time consuming. You, sh uh, you should know that beetles are fantastic diggers. If you stick with me, we'll be out in no time. Is this the only way? My fur is going to get all dirty. We could stay here and starve, V. Alright, let's dig it up. Wonderful. Remember, if we are on a spot with soft dirt... I oh, okay, so a new thing here. Sweet. How come we never brought this up? We didn't really need it, did we? <laughs> all that matters is we're getting out of this cell. We gotta go find our stuff, too. All right. We can now dig. Um. Can you dig it, sucker? Yeah. Now all we need is a Coliseum sequence. Davidson said, I know a lot about Latino music, by which I mean Central and South American and Japanese music, but I know basically nothing about American music. Oh, really? That's interesting. Remember that one big rock you couldn't break last stream? Yes, I do remember that. And that was in the desert too, wasn't it? Oh, oh, you dig underground. That's sick. That reminds me of Crash Bandicoot, actually. There's a, there's a level or maybe a couple levels where you have to go underground to avoid bees. Right, Fak, I was thinking that too. Hostiles ahead. Whoops! Lead the way, Kabu. I was holding B by accident because I meant to dig. Oh, but we want to avoid... I'm guessing that they'll throw us back on our cell if they find us because we're kind of... Well, not really. The only thing we're missing is uh, the Beamerang. We should be able to fight them otherwise. But I'm guessing we're going to have to, we have to avoid them. That's going to be what's going on right now. Whoops. Yeah, Vivian's Veil, but you can move too. Oh, they didn't say we got to be more careful like they usually would say. <laughs> What the? Those are cursed bandits burying a poor bug alive like that? Actually, we think she's just asleep. Oh, should we wake her? Maybe. Zzz. Um, hello, fellow bug. Zzz. Maybe we should just let her sleep. Zzz. Nah, wake up already. Come on. Ah. Ah, don't eat me. I don't actually taste like cherries. We won't hurt you. Just calm down, please. We might give you a hug, though. Oh, okay, my name's Cerise. Uh, okay, the heck were you doing underground? 
Came to this weird land looking for my boyfriend, Tangi. I knew it. I knew she was gonna have something to do with Tangerine. But I got really sleepy, so I dug a hole to take a nap in. And monsters can't see you if you can't see them, you know? That's not how it works, but all right. Weird, I thought you were a prisoner too. What's up, prisoner? <laughs> no, she's not too smart. <laughs> I also found this weirdly shiny berry while digging. Doesn't taste very good though. You can have it if you want, Uncle Iron Seed. Hey, look at that. Uncle Iron what? Uncle Iron Seed, because you look like an Iron Seed and you look old enough to be my uncle. <laughs> but you don't look strong enough to have been eating lots of Iron Seeds though. We should get going. <laughs> Okay, love you, bye-bye. Oh, that's from Animaniacs. Okay, love you, bye-bye. I'll go outside and look for Tanji in a little bit, so don't worry about me. That's what the little girl says to with the dog. And, and she says it to the mom. I can't remember the name of the characters, though, right now. We want too much. <sighs> Uncle Iron Seed. <laughs> Be quiet. She kind of looks like one of those rare dark cherries, but red, that's weird. She's more like a shade of pink, and we think it's cute, not weird. If she's really a cherry, maybe that's why she naps underground. I've heard that there's a land of the Far East where bugs resemble various fruits, perhaps she's from there. Mindy and Buttons, yep, that's it, thank you. Those fancy fairy tales, their cherries are red and grow from trees, not the ground, they must cost a fortune. Then why is she napping underground? Maybe we'll find answers when we visit her land. This is once perhaps we shouldn't explore. They keep referencing the Tangerine's land, so... It'll be interesting once we finally visit it. I had a feeling it was going to be like chapter 6 or something by the time we finally get to go there. back up. Damn it. He's gonna see us now. Not really sure how their line of vision works. Oh, I guess not that well. He's looking to the right. Um, oh, you never visit their land? Really? But that's weird that they would, like, plant so many Chekhov's guns and then you never get to go. That's kind of sad. Wait, they're going to make us freeze that ice block and move it over here? How the heck is that going to work? Ween Buckingham Green's pretty good. I'll definitely be checking out more stuff. Nice, I'm glad you liked it. That's off of their uh, album, The Mollusk, which is probably my favorite album from them. I'm just gonna... Maybe they can't see as far as it would seem. Ah, well he did. Okay, so they, they can see you, like... So we'll have to be careful there. It smells like a Kickstarter stretch goal that got cut. Oh, was this game kickstarted? Right on rewinding. I might have to check out that uh, Tame and Paula album as well. I might for I forget things a lot. So um I forgot if you've joined the discord or not but if you have it would be good to post that in the discord so that way i have a reminder because i am very forgetful there we go 
Hell yeah. Oh, you don't even know what Discord is? That's fine. No worries. I'll try to remember. It's just a place uh, where people can like talk and share pictures and links and videos and articles and all that stuff. And it, generally you would join a server, like a group of like, say if you're, you're like, oh, you're a fan of the Beatles. So you might join like a Discord Beatles server. And it's just a group of people who all like that thing. Although a, bis, uh, a Beatles Discord server would probably be pretty large. <laughs> oh god, that guy almost saw me. I wasn't being that careful. Oh, safe spot. Heck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Discord kind of replaced Skype in a way. Remember to put all important treasure in the boss's room. If you knuckleheads forgot, it is on the upper floor. Don't disappoint the boss. Did Mo Howard of the Three Stooges write this? You knuckleheads. Watch out, there are people ahead. Let's get out of here before they see us. But there's a big old treasure box. No, yeah, I saw there was another door in there. I'm just kind of being... Trying to be careful. Is this guy ever gonna turn around? Can you stun them, I wonder, or freeze them or something? Well, I don't have my beamer in. Yeah, I don't think he... Yeah, that guy saw me. So it doesn't look like we could go to the left quite yet. Ah, but my safe spot doesn't matter. Damn it. For some reason, my brain was thinking, oh, it'll take me back to where I saved last time, but no. That's not how life works. Dang it. Oh, I have to... Ah, oh, man, I hate... I wish that... The cycle when you went into this room started with you being able to just rush through it. Rather than you having to wait a bit. Oh yeah. Only, only because if you're having to do it more than once, it's a little... What happens if you pop up underneath the table? Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, that that item up there is what you're you're mentioning, yeah. Or no, that was another room, huh? Oh, that is okay. Um, am I into the pixies? Uh, I don't really know them that well. They they did. Where's my mind? Right. I like that song. But I don't know of the Pixies. I've heard people compare Ween to the Pixies. Like, there's these sort of a similar type of, like, like weird band. Wait, is that guy always looking to the left? Yeah, if that guy's always looking to the left, I'm not going to be able to go that way. But then the dude down here is always looking to the left, so I can't go that way either. In fact, the, f the fact he exists at all. This is the only place I can safely go. So... Oh, well. We're just going here. Forgot that was a thing I could dig. Okay, so we're, we're, we're probably going to find our stuff in here then. Oi, oi, what do you mean you haven't got no berries yet? You'll be paid when the job's completed. 
We snuck you in and helped you secure the materials. You think we're dumb? The job's way past time. Watch your tone, thieves. You wanna... Excuse me, you wanna fight here? It ain't gonna end well for you. We'd best go report this. Yeah, I mean, how, what are they gonna do? Just do it for free? You gotta pay them off. Wait, we ain't finished here. Alrighty. Is this gonna be our stuff? Well, the boomerang at least. And all your other stuff. Yeah, V's back in action. It's a relief to have you back at full power. Our vengeance is unstoppable now. Let's decimate them and get that key. Calm down. That might be why I like that Ween song. I love music that gets weird. You should check out Do Little by the Pixies. I'll try to keep that in mind. And we did see that lore book, didn't we? Oh, look at all that stuff. Give me... Yeah. The thing with Ween is, like, they have weird songs, and they have songs that are really, like, okay, this just seems ridiculous. But they also have, like, they're not just, like, a joke band or a parody band. Like, they have songs that are definitely, like, very sincere and heartfelt and stuff. I, mean, that, I think a lot of people make the mistake of dismissing them sometimes because... They have funny music, but it's like, yeah, but they also have, you know, they just do whatever they want to do, basically. They're not just, they don't just stick with one type of thing. Uh, hey, DK bros, how's it going? Hey, that could be you. Well, there's a chance that this could finish you. That's just four, huh? Ah, that's okay. That's okay, no problemo. Ah, oh, we froze the guy we killed. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, okay. Here's another, th just another little thing, is that in Paper Mario, from what I remember, after like, say I've done like, okay, I'm Mario and I'm gonna, I'm going to do a skill. Once it moves over to your partner, the wheel will automatically be on the default thing, which is attack. So you can just like instantly attack, like once you get to the partner. On this game, whatever's the last thing you did, even if it was like, use an item, when you're on to the next partner, it's still on whatever the last thing you did. And, and sometimes I... Usually I've actually been avoiding it, but like so that, that time it got me. So that's why I did that, just so... You know. I got a little too excited to just quickly finish off the enemy. Hey, but at least we blocked that. Yeah, I haven't been really super caught up with WWE, uh... DK Bros. I mostly have just been like looking at like the pay-per-view stuff once in a while. Cursor memory is usually something you can adjust in the settings. Really? Is that what that is? Um... Um... I don't know where I would find that, but it's okay. I mean, it, I, I just, I just felt... Why did my controller unplug? Like, not unplug, but like suddenly... Oh well. Um... I, I just... Another thing I decided to point out that's different than Paper Mario, which... What isn't a bad thing, it's just something that might... Get me a little mixed up. I legit don't know why my GameCube controller suddenly stopped responding right now. I didn't move anything. <laughs> so
sub to JR, right, Jay? Jim Ross? Controller, please! Why you do this to me? Um... Oh boy, okay, I'm gonna unplug and plug it back in. Did I accidentally disconnect it in the options? Maybe. That's possible. But it's like mashing buttons right now, so... Click off the game, click on the game. No, we got controllers still on there. I don't know what happened. Just for some reason while I was in this menu. Dang it! I shouldn't have came to this menu. It's all facts fault. Everyone blame fact. It's very strange. So, how's everyone's uh, Friday night going? Pretty good, I hope. So, um, I just watched Over the Garden Wall for the first time. I actually watched it with uh, Fack and Sword. Um, and they, they had seen it before, I'm pretty sure, but it was my first time seeing it. Uh, hey, best gamer 2.0. I went to WWE when it wasn't on TV. Oh, that's cool. That that must be like a dark match or a house show. Fact said I accidentally ordered several, oh, several extra dessert items with my pizza. Oh God. Oh no, how did that happen? At first, I thought you said you accidentally ordered several pizzas. <laughs> Which would be even bigger of a, too much of a good thing, huh? Wow, that's really weird. Just straight up, my controller is just no longer, it just doesn't exist anymore. DK Bros, Adam Cole versus Michael Cole. Who would win in a fight? Or in a match, I guess. That, this is bizarre. For some reason, my, my controller is... It was working fine this whole time. We haven't had an issue. Yeah, I think we're going to have to restart the game, actually. So here's some stolen silk. So let, let, let's go do that real quick. Luckily, the keyboard is, is fine. Oh. Um. Oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes. Okay. So, I want to close and reopen the game real quick. Wait. Yeah, okay. Well, we were doing pretty good. I actually, like, ha the controller has been fine the whole time since the start. This has actually been the smoothest stream of this game so far in that sense. Wish I could have those spare dessert items. Oh, you're hungry? Yep, now it's working. That's all it was. I just had to restart the game. Really weird. Um... Are you into movies? Yeah, I'm into movies. I like, I like movies a lot. Oh, you gotta go, Duskus. All right, well, I hope you, I hope your night goes well and you have a, a good rest of your Friday.
Okay, so... Let's see, was there some... Okay, no, I think we're good. I think we just gotta battle everyone in our path now, basically. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! This... Actually led... Oh, okay, wow, that's good. Because I would have never noticed that tiny little hole right there. No wonder he... Wasn't... He had that key for the bandits. He's right there. Apparently Duskus is not a fan of... Cinnamon twists. What are your top three favorite movies? Mine are A Taxi Driver, A Clockwork Orange, and Reservoir Dogs. Those are all great choices. Those are all really great choices by by very good directors. Um, I don't know what my top favorite movies are. That's kind of a hard choice. I have like directors I like a lot, like. I mean, like you said right there, that, that's what Martin Scorsese, uh, Quentin Tarantino, and uh, Stanley Kubrick, those are all really good directors. Did Martin Scorsese do, do Taxi Driver? Or am I thinking of someone else? Um. Okay, uh... John Carpenter's The Thing, that's a really good one as well. Um, we're not done, we're not done checking out this place down here, are we? And you know what I just realized? We never did use those permanent upgrade berries. So we have to decide, who do we want to give this to? I haven't watched Squid Game yet, uh, DK Bros. I feel like I put Leaf in the front a lot, so... Let's give that to Leaf. And the Bond Berry is like, I mean... That's just everyone, so it doesn't matter. Boom! Good stuff. A uh, fact, the scene where they're checking the blood is like such a, such a great, like, movie scene, just in general. It's one of like the best movie scenes out there. In my personal opinion. Ah, oh, you see, I would have thought that that would count as me hitting him, because I was tackling. There we go! Have we even been getting good luck charms this whole time? I feel like this is the first time I noticed. All right, um... Back, wh wh what pizza place did you go to that you got Cinnamon Twists? Is that like a local pizza place? Because when I think Cinnamon Twists, I think like, uh... I feel like Taco Bell or has that. Is the first place I would think of. Taxi Driver's been my favorite since I was 14. I'm also into directors. What are your top three favorite? Mine are Kubrick, Jean-Pierre, Melville, and Gaspar Noe. Um... Oh, Domino's has that, okay. Yeah, I know Squid Game, I just haven't seen it, uh, DK Bros. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I'd have to really think about, uh... About that. Oh, you stole my item. It's not cool. 
Get your butt down here. Gonna steal my stuff? That ain't gonna fly. You ain't gonna fly. Either. I'm going to do nothing so that we can all beat you up next turn. Oh. I thought I was going to have enough to finish you off. Apparently I was wrong. Well, maybe not. Let's see. There we go. Edgar Wright was the first director to come to mind when I think of favorites. Edgar Wright's really good, for sure. Uh, I definitely like all of his stuff. Wait, what? Oh, because it's a crack in the wall. It's not actually a opening. That was throwing me off. I'm just gonna start avoiding these guys if I can just because... You know, I haven't seen Baby Driver though. But the, the trailer to the movie kind of triggered me because the main character has tinnitus and I, I have tinnitus. Probably not as severely as the character in the movie, but it's it's still something that's that's just really uh, annoying. I'm just kidding. It didn't actually like make make me angry or anything. But I was like, ah, oh, no, they can't do this. I'm actually not sure where I'm supposed to be going down here. Because I don't, it doesn't, oh, down here, here we go. This is a new place. But the, him like listening to music with his earphones blasting, on one, like, on one sense, I can kind of understand the idea of trying to block out background noise, because that's something that I might do to like block out snoring if I'm sleeping it over at someone's house or they're sleeping over at my place and they snore i can see myself like listening to music to block it out but when it comes to having tinnitus like blasting music in your ears isn't really the best thing for that that kind of is more likely to just make it worse like not immediately but like down the line orange horn broken orange beetle horn Unusually sturdy radiates hubris. <laughs> Should we give this to Tangerine? Um, for me, it's actually like I tend to use kind of background noise outside, like around me, to block out tinnitus. Like, um... Oh, sweet! Another bomb berry! That's awesome! Um, 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 like, just like a fan running in the background helps a lot. So I usually, like, have to... I like having a fan running. When it gets too cold, like, it'll probably get colder soon. I actually start using, like, YouTube videos of, like, and of like an AC or a heater or something making noise to go to sleep to at night. Cause I can't, <laughs> I can't have a, uh, I can't have an AC or a fan running at night when it's winter. That's kind of foolish. Oh, was there a soft patch of dirt? Let me, I didn't notice. I think I got kind of distracted. Oh, sorry, but Best Gamer said, do I do face reveal? Fax said, you can gaze upon Jay's visage as much as you want in his video reviews. Though much like the sun, you shouldn't stare at it for prolonged periods of time. Just like Icarus. Oh, yeah, the little bumps. I gotta remember that. Yeah, good call, Fax. I wasn't looking out for those at all. 
Can we fall into this pot? I guess not. There's an invisible barrier that stops me. Who's my favorite wrestler? I think I told you already. Didn't I tell you that uh, uh, Kane and Undertaker were like probably my two favorite wrestlers? I'm pretty sure I told you. You might want to, to uh, keep a log of all my favorite wrestlers. Because, uh... Wrestling J Trivia Night, you're going to want to know the answers to those questions. Venus! Uh, do we need healing? We probably could, uh... uh you know what? It's cheap, and just for the TP. Yeah, let's do it. I also used YouTube white noise videos or jazz videos to fall asleep. Doc said we could do Baby Driver for movie night. Yeah, sure, let's do that. You guys need to remind me about movie night stuff, because I always... I fell down the gap I didn't realize existed. Um, I forget all the time, but I would love to do more movie night stuff. Kane and Undertaker are my favorite wrestlers also. Mankind also. Oh yeah, Man Mankind uh, Mick Foley is really cool too. I just remember when I was a little kid, like, really liking the theatrical wrestlers the most, like Kane and Undertaker. I just thought they were, like, using, like, pyro and... Wait a minute. This is so weird because you see a path that leads upstairs right there. That you would want to go up, but instead you automatically walk to the left. I guess you're technically going up the stairs, maybe? Hard to tell. No, I don't know. Kind of weird. Anyway, where was that thing? Mini boss? So you're the ones causing all this ruckus, Team Snake Mouth. If I had to choose one, probably Kane, just because he was my childhood favorite. Um, although I think Undertaker is probably the better wrestler overall, but but he's just like a one in a billion. Like he was like crazy talented for like in every aspect of wrestling. This imposing presence. Are you the leader of the bandits? Hmm, quite sharp. My name is Astotheles. As you say, I lead this pack. You've got some nerve throwing us in a cell. If you give us the key, we may even forgive it. As if your feelings were of my slightest concern, you were trapped for what your heads could offer. You are the ant witch's lackeys, my sworn enemies, and your capture could be a gold mine for my people. The wasps promised a handsome reward if we got rid of you, but I was blind to their slimy ways. Astotheles, you seem reasonable. Surely this needs not to come to blows. You naive uh, queen's lap bug. Between us, there can be no compromise. But you shall have an honorable fight. Do your worst. Curses. Poor Kabu always trying to settle things with words. Sorry, I had to help someone with something. Um, I like Goldust too. As a kid, I did not like Goldust at all, which makes sense because he was supposed to be a heel. Like his whole job was to make you not like him. But as I got older, I, I started respecting and appreciating Goldust more and more because he's just so talented, especially he's like 50 and he still is a really good wrestler. Like he does crazy stuff and he's like six foot six or something. And he does all these like, Crazy flips and stuff. 
and his 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 makeup got really cool looking too like later on he really cool designs do bugs have laps good question um if i could only choose one oh, i already told you i've came probably um davidson knows nothing about wrestlers that's fair i mean it's a lot to get into anyways mini boss fight Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Well, not turn relay, we want to swap places. Oh, I'm supposed to spy. Yeah, I'm glad I caught that at the last second because my brain suddenly was like, wait, we're supposed to be spying right now. <laughs> You crook, what if I'd never found my beamerang? And what's th this? Sorry, what's with ruining my items? I don't care if you're the boss, you're gonna go down. Okay. And I'm gonna hold off for a turn, so that way we can, uh... Well, hang on, let me see if there's any... Wait, 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 what does our dig move do? do? Understrike. Cool, okay. And yeah, I don't think we need to use anything. I'm just gonna do nothing. Uh, my friends made fun of me because I like gold dust, but he was freaking awesome when he came out. He put on a show. Yeah, he has a funny story where uh, he was talking to Vince McMahon over the phone. And he just wanted a job. Like, he just wanted to work in WWF at the time. And he didn't care what it was. He was willing to do it. And Vince McMahon gave him a call finally. And he said, uh, Okay, Dustin. That, that's his real name. I have an idea for your character. Um, could you think you could play an androgynous character? And he was like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I could do that. And he hung up the phone. And he had to grab a dictionary because he didn't know what androgynous meant. <laughs> But he already, he already, uh, agreed to doing that. Although calling Goldust a Drogis is kind of a weird, not exactly the best description, but I guess back then, I don't know, they don't really know terms. I guess he kind of was a in a sense sometimes. The interesting thing was like early Goldust, his his main gimmick besides being like very uh Um I don't know how to put it exactly. Like he would try to I don't know. I don't know how to say exactly, but he he was a, a movie buff, so he would reference movies all the time. in this poor fella. Um, screw it. I don't if they had defense or not. Whatever, we'll just... You don't really have to do that in a rhythm at all. You just have to do left, right, left, right, fast. I kept doing it slower because it said a rhythm. Uh. Heck, I'm just gonna keep... Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Three hit combo. Didn't expect that. Oh, and he got to attack again. Wow. Good thing we've been freezing him this whole time. Um, I hope the team behind this made enough money to keep making games. Yeah, I hope so too. Do, do you know how many 
how well this game did sells wise because I don't really know myself I would hope that it like did decently so no tornado toss I'll just try to finish him off oh yeah you could go as fast as you want for that And there we go. Finished. But yeah, I, I agree, Fak. I feel like a sequel to this could be really cool. Like, like there's nothing really wrong with this game, but there, I could feel like if they polished things up more, it could be like possibly on par with like a thousand year door. Um, I yield. I can fight no longer. That wench's got good eyes for minions. Do it then. End me. You got the fair fight you, you requested. That's enough. A smackdown is good enough for us. Speaking of wrestling... Yeah, don't be so dramatic. We just want the key. Boss! You're hurt. Boss, why didn't you call us? We could have handled these chumps. Yeah, right. And still can. Let's get them, boys. After such a tough fight. Enough. We bet our honor in this battle, and I lost. They're free to go. Seriously, boss? We could take them. I thought there was no honor among thieves. Polish, and surely the dev team learned so many things uh, throughout the process of making the game and got new ideas that went far outside the scope of the game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. It's okay, friends. The gardens bloom, do they not? And we drove the wasps out. There's no point in keeping them here any longer. So you've come around? You could have just let us go, you know? I don't get you sometimes, boss. You three, you're against the wasps, correct? Indeed, they're a threat to all of Bulgaria. Then you may not be so bad. Maybe I could trust you with this. The Earth Key. We don't owe the Ant Kingdom even one blade of grass, but those wasps betrayed our covenant. They're lower than dirt. I hope they'll meet justice at your hands. We don't have the time or resources to go after them. If we do, don't think it's to do you a favor. With the key, with that key, your mercy's repaid. Now get out. If you come back, we'll throw you in the cell again. We'd break out again. You heard the boss. Get out. Don't make us kick you. You bandits have got some swinging moods. I don't get it. Are they good or bad? Come V. I don't think that's an answer we'll get today. That's a key. One left. We should go back to town. Ask around where the other key could be, or just look around ourselves. Group. And also open this. Ah, I thought we could open it. I have no more business with you, get out. He called Elizant the Ant Witch, huh? He fights really well with one arm. Oh, I didn't even realize he, he only had one arm. I wish I could know more of his history, but we must leave lest we get thrown out. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. We probably could have shortcut it through the well, but that's okay. Wait, where was it? Dang, maybe we should have just shortcut it through the well. <laughs> Oh, but there's that rock that we can get now since we can dig, so maybe we should actually go for that since we're here already. It's right here, in fact. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, but there's the hole right here. Oh, well, that was... Huh, I could have sworn Deska said that we could dig under this rock and then... Maybe he was mistaken for another upgrade we get later. Dang, I think we're stuck on this side now. <laughs> Darn it. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Unless maybe we have to like dig under this? No. Yeah, that's not working. Have we been to Chomper Cave? I don't think so. Those look kind of like Brussels sprouts covering the screen. Da 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 da. Yada da ze, yada da ze. Pretty overkill for that type of enemy, but that's okay. Um, I suspect that is the detour Duskus wanted you to go on. Mmm. Oh, I got a succulent berry! How serendipitous! That's what we needed next for the chef. Uh, you might be right, Fact, but I, I don't know where that is located, unfortunately. Having seen the reward for the detour, yes, you do want to go on it. On it. Oh, I fell. Um. Yeah, we definitely want to level up our metal stat. Ah, the camera. What key do you have right now? I think the wiki's saying you need to be at a certain point. I I have a special key that's probably for that, maybe. I like how I said probably, maybe. But, um... It's very possible. I'm just gonna fight these guys. No, we have the Earth key. We're gonna have to find the Heaven key next. But good guess. Ah, I hate when they when they dig. Like after, like on on my turn. That's so cheap. Good thing Leaf can do that. Okay, it's after we find the heaven key, gotcha. Whoops, I had already turned it. Right? 
here's another pile of rocks. Look, we could definitely break this at some point. So, Kaboom must get like an even better move that we just do not have yet. Yeah, because even tackling it isn't doing the trick. Yeah, okay. Alright, so someone in this town should know about where the Heaven Key is. Reinforces his horn with adamantium. Wait a minute. I don't suppose... I don't suppose that's what this is for, is it? No, okay. Because I was thinking I was supposed to give this to Tangerine. Because it's orange, like, like Tangerine. Because then Tangerine will might be able to lift or break that one block that he's been trying to lift and or break. Anywho, succulent, suc ugh, succulent berry, you say? I just happened to pick one up. Succulent platter restores two HP to the part, the whole party for two turns. Cool. Cool. Okay, apparently we're ready for the forbidden recipe. Spicy bomb to give the dish a really nice boom. A bomb? Then I'll bake it with an Obama honey. Wait, an Obama honey? That plus a bomb, are you sure? We're curious, but mostly worried. It's um, really risky, but the legend says it'll bring honey to a new level. I was really scared to try before, but I've trained so much I think I could pull it off. Team, let's believe in Crisby. If we don't, why did we take that mission? And you're right, but... If it's forbidden, it's probably super delicious. Let's do this. Of course Leaf would say that. They just want something else to eat. Okay, geez, we'll bring it. I've got a bad feeling, though. Oh, thank you so much. I won't disappoint you, I promise. Okay. I'll be sure to come back to that once we have that. All right, so we need to find someone. Oh, I wonder if we have enough money to, uh... we do. We're gonna get a better charm. I'm gonna do a regular charm. Overcharmed we might get later. Would be amazing if some monstrosity just crawls out of the oven that you have to fight. Yeah, if that's like a secret boss fight. We're all charmed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That is such a refi to the first Paper Mario. The, the, the Merlin who gives you the good luck charm in the desert area. Behind, it's even in a secret place too. It's like behind all the normal stores. So that's cool. Alright, so we need to find someone who looks suspicious or like they know something. How are you? Oh, well, hang on. Oh, Sandcastle. If it's Roachmay, that's for sure. They say there was an old Roach village near the oasis south of town. I'm sure those old ruins hold some important things. Castle are not. Shame I'm too old to explore the desert alone. Okay, you. Ah, oh, it's too hot. Isn't there an ancient fan in here? Or no. You must be Arami. Ah, uh, yep, that's me. How may we help you comb combat this heat spell? Leaf, freeze her up. Wow, what a nice breeze. Mission complete. Hey up. W wait, it's already hot again. I'm super thankful, but I need something that will last after you're, you've, ugh, after you're gone. 
Hmm. Perhaps an umbrella or some sort of ointment to shield you from the sun's rays. I'll take anything, really, please. I'm begging you. So much for the easy check. We'll find something, so sit tight. Try not to uh, work yourself up until then. Um... I don't think I have anything that would specifically make her cold for an amount of time. Is there somewhere new we can reach now that we could dig? Well, he just mentioned that there's a roach oasis south of this place. So that's making me think that might be where we want to go. Oops. So maybe we have to go south from here and then try to find a place to dig. Wait a minute. To the left, you can go south as well, if I remember correctly. So maybe we should start from that side. Because I don't even think we've, we've been through the desert on that side yet. Right down this way. Oh, what is that? Spiky bod. When blocking, Kabu will damage enemies that touch him with his horn. What? Is that a metal? A very rare spiky bod metal. Oh. Hurts me to part with it, but how does 50 berries? Oh. I didn't know you guys sold metals now. That's a good one. I'd have to sell some stuff though. It's funny how the husband only buys stuff and the wife only sells stuff. Yeah, you know it. Um, let's see. Mm. So it's worth 50, so we need 22. This is a cool item, but I don't think like we it's super helpful, especially if you like want to heal outside of battle. So I think I'm gonna sell that. Help. We need the muns. Um do have two so. and then hmm. I'll do the burly berry. I feel like we don't really Once again though, like, if they do make an, a sequel, they should really tell you how many slots of metal is gonna take up before you buy it. Like, like this one's probably gonna take like three, I'm guessing. Oh, there's another one. Grants Leaf the Break skill, which reduces an enemy's defense for two What the? I don't want discounts, I just want you to show me more medals. There we go. Oh! Okay, well this is completely different. Now we're straight up just able to look at a list of medals instead of having them randomly pop up on a table. Caboose taunt will now reduce enemies defense by one, but boost their attack by one. That's weird. Empower, boost an ally's attack for two turns, weak stomach, makes it any... Healing item also a, also poison. There must be a reason why you'd want to be poisoned, but I don't think we have that yet. After a successful battle, the party recovers two HP. What the? Oh my god! There's like such good stuff here. What the heck? We'll have to come back later, I guess. Well, let's see. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to start upgrading our metals. 
Okay, so... Yup, it costs three, that's what I figured. Okay, so let's think. I don't think we ever want to get rid of the HP plus just because... Wait a minute. Do we really need Poison Defender? Increases an ally's defense while poisoned. Like we, that's so, it's so, so situational. That's for like if you're fighting a specific boss, I would think. And meditation isn't bad, but I think for now we can, we don't need that. I'm gonna throw Spiky Bot on. And then we might as well throw Bug Mean not on. Okay, there we go, Spiky Bot. Spiky Bob. Lots of bandits showing up lately. Something's up. Be careful out there. Oh, don't worry. We're friends with the bandits now. What does this lead to? I wonder. Oh, this is just... Nope, this is a different area. Definitely a different area. Well, let's just keep going south, because they the guy said that the oasis is south. Now you're pretty much always going to want Kabu in the front. Yeah, that's what I figured too. And now there's more of a reason to use his taunt ability. Now, now we're getting good synergy. Um... Oh, we don't have any TP. Uh-oh. That's okay. Let's just have... Give us some TP. Yeah, we're not actually like in the best shape to be going out fighting things right now, but we should be leveling up pretty soon. I feel like we haven't ranked up in a while. Um... Hey, we froze everyone! I'll just take out the first one. So we can see Kabu's new skill in action. Oh, never mind, they attacked everyone. <laughs> Hey, at least we blocked everything, too. Hey, Christmas Elf. You don't have TP if you only have a bidet. I mean... You might have a point there. Although, usually, like, even when you have a bidet, you still use TP just to... You know dry off at least from what i can tell from my experience when i went to japan or actually i wonder if there's like fancy bidets that like dry you off that sounds like it would be dangerous though no th then again it already is electric huh i don't know i have no idea i'm actually curious now Um, we're just gonna keep We're about to level up anyway, so if we take damage, it's not a big deal. Just have a spare hair dryer next to the, <laughs> next to the bidet. Yeah. I want a bidet. I, I, I don't even think they're that expensive, actually. I think they got kind of popular during the pandemic. When it, when it first was hitting, lockdown was first happening really hard, and... Everyone was buying up toilet paper for no reason. So, I'm just glad that... Well, I hope the prices haven't gone up for them. Probably they were at the, that time, but they're probably not anymore. Alright, metal points, baby. The great toilet paper shortage of 2020, exactly. Hey, we still got 30 minutes until Walter time. Oh! Um, oh, I have three more metal points too, what am I doing? 
All right, so what do we want? What do we want? I feel like Tardigrade Shield would be good, but they don't mention the fact that to use it, it takes like five TP or something. Like that's kind of, like they really need to go into more detail about if a skill costs a certain amount of things. So I think what I'm going to do is um, HP... Mm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do HP plus and I'm going to take off the bug me not and I'm going to throw on meditation. Yeah. And then I'm going to do another metal level up next time probably. Am I the only person that didn't stock up on TP like crazy? I literally couldn't even if I had wanted to. No, I think that the people who stocked up on... Where did the scorpion go? Wasn't there a... I don't know. I think the people who stocked up on... Um... See, I was probably supposed to see this before I got the shield, but I didn't see that till after I had the shield already. Um... Yeah, I would probably be better with Kabu, you're right. I, I forgot again that you need everyone's... Yeah, yeah, I got it. We good. Thank you for pointing that out. Hey, look, an oasis. Oh, you can fall into the oasis. But no, yeah, I think it was... Uh, I don't think most people were going crazy over the toilet paper. I bet you the people who did that, like, still have, like, their house is just full of toilet paper to this day. And look, now we can dig under this. So we got both abilities... ...before we even visited this area. That's called playing efficiently. Hey, it's them. The statue seems eerily familiar, a roach? Oh, it's you. That's correct. It's most likely a statue of the Roach Village Founder. That's right. We saw some Roach Ruins in Snake Mouth too. What? Yeah, it was all around where we found the artifact. Incredible. This information you should have shared right away. I guess that explains why this key was here. That key, could it be for the Sandcastle? Don't ask me, but roaches and artifacts often pop up together. Just what made them disappear? This is what I want to know. Good question, because roaches are supposed to be the one... One, one of the species on Earth that has been around for so long and then they're like nearly impossible to get rid of. All the damage you see is simply a result of the passage of time. A few sandstorms here and there roughed up the place, but with the oasis so close by, I find little reason this place would be abandoned. Most curious. Uh-huh, hey, you wouldn't mind giving that to us, right? We really need it. You're asking me to hand you over a priceless historical relic? Please, we'll return it. Well, sure, if it really leads to the artifact, I'll, it'll give my research a boost. There we go. Thanks, Hawk. Do get back to me with any developments. I'll head back to Professor Honeycomb's lab to compile my findings. If you ever drop by, please share what you found. Sorry, uh, yeah, what you found with the key with me. Will do. Safe travels, Hawk. There we go. We got both keys. We should head to the same castle then. It's at the most northeast part of this desert. Okay, so normally, what does this lead to? Oh, this. Nice. Um. So normally we would just head straight back up and go to to that sand castle as we know where it is. But you you were saying you and Duskus were saying I should take a detour, which I assume would be this way, because why else would we? Go this way. Hmm. Surprised we can't read this. Definitely something going on here. Okay, so we can jump up here. Can't quite make that jump. 
can't get up there from here. I don't suppose we could just pull out the item. No. Unless someone gets a flying ability eventually. This doesn't look like something we can do yet. I'm guessing that someone gets like a floating ability down the line that we do that we don't have yet. Unless I'd like to do a Donkey Kong jump. Could almost make it. Oh, so close. Back up in a second, I'm just... Obviously this would not be the intended way, but... Yeah, okay, we can't go this way. So whatever's, whatever is this way, I don't think we could go this way yet. But there is another um, alternate route up here. Oh no, not up here. Where was it? Wait, was it? Can we go right here? No. Now we might as well. Um. Hmm. What was down here? Well, it's, it sure is, we sure are moving on, and I see a badge up there, too. Come on, grab that badge, V. Ah, oh, okay. See, I wasn't sure because the camera. Strong start metal. The equipped ally starts battle with an extra turn, but their exhaustion ramps up quicker. What is exhaustion? Is there like another variable to the game that I just didn't realize this whole time? I legit don't know what exhaustion even is. Do you have any idea if I'm heading towards that detour? The turn relay thing. Where their attack gets weaker the more times they act in a turn. Okay. So... When you relay to someone else, they will lose two attack points instead of one, basically? Is that what I'm getting out of that? Because that's pretty rough. Oy. Yeah, we, we found the heaven key. I've just... I All we have to do is go back to the sandcastle and put the keys in now. I just assumed that I was supposed to come down this way for the detour. But so far, I've just been running into, like, different sand screens. Okay, I believe that's what we're doing right now. I believe we, we are just off of the golden path. Did 
Did that just say super and then it did one damage? Huh. I don't get this game sometimes. What, this also looks like a point where I would have to float. Oh, wait, never mind. Good. I feel like you get a floating ability at some point. There just seems to be a lot of things where you could float if you... Oh! So we're looking for a cave. Cave. Wait a minute. This is just... Oh my god, this just led back to like the whole start of the desert. Okay. I might just go for the sandcastle because... Wait, this looks different, actually. I don't know if I've been here. Let me see this. I do not remember... Okay, this is it. Okay, we got lucky. I was just about to just say, screw it. This must be it. <laughs> I think it's because I had to dig under that thing, which I wasn't able to do before. Okay, but now what's going on here? Oh! Can't jump on that. Can we dig? Okay, I didn't realize I could dig under this ground. The music in here is very mysterious. Who? What is that? Is that an enemy? Oh, that's an enemy. It's a big boy. Alrighty. Um. Go ahead and spy. Y'all wouldn't consider just running from this one, right? Two defense. I know it's no spider, but whoa, it's got a giant rock. Kaboo, hurry up and hit it. Bellastos. Alright. Yeah, not turn relay. Always get this mixed up. Well, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you hard, first of all. And then... I'll try to freeze you. You will do nothing. Gain some TP along the way. And then we'll we'll start all over again. Wait, the golden path is the uh, uh, autumnal looking area from chapter two? I could have sworn there was a sign in the village up ahead that said the golden path was south, which meant in the desert. Wait, you're saying this isn't the cave? Wait, wait, we happen to be looking for a cave. And just as I'm giving up, I run into a cave that I've never seen before and it's not the right cave. Is that what you're telling me? Is this where my luck has gotten me? What the hell is that? Stream Mountain? What? Okay, this is the golden path. Wait, was it that just where the secret boss was that kicked my ass when I tried to fight him on like the second stream? And like I kind of wait- or no, it was the third stream. It was the last stream, the start of the last stream. 
Is that where it wants me to go? I don't know. I feel like we need to... Can I not freeze you? Okay, we can't go in the water. Ah, oh, there's a mushroom down there. Okay. Ah! And then when we... Put the water up, the logs will rise. But what's in here? God damn it. So what, this is probably just like another secret boss or something. So yeah, we're kind of wasting my time here, aren't I? What the heck is that? A bubble spider? There's like all these new enemies and I'm kind of just skipping them so I don't... Oh wait, I could just like do this too. Shield is great. Hopefully this place isn't too big and we're just gonna get to the end of it soon. There's an item up there though. Oh, we can step in this water. Somewhat. Oi, not high enough. Ah, yeah. I see now. Damn it! Good thing we could free freeze them when they're while they're still frozen. No! Oh my god, the B button like just doesn't come out sometimes. It's usually only when you're like really needing to get it quickly though. Ah. Like right there. Or maybe it's because like the water's hitting me, I don't know. Weird. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't even try to get up on that ledge. Or something. I don't know. All I know is this part's really feels harder than it should be. Did I just run into Kaboo? What am I doing? And then I'll, okay, and then right here, and then we could jump on it. That's what we're gonna do. There we go, and then... There we go. Alright, what the heck is this? Antillion, or sorry, Antlion, Jaws, Metal, boost and Allies, Basic Attack, making them ignore one point. That's good. That's a good item to find. Yeah, I mean, I figured this is an area with the Seeker boss, just based, based on... So I probably shouldn't even be doing this because I'm probably going to end up getting to something that I can't beat. What's this? Crimson Ore. This rare ore can fortify any creation but requires immense strength to handle. Didn't that one dude in the village need ore for something? Oh, now we can come up here. Well, I don't even... I didn't even run into a boss here. It just led me back down this way. So... If there was a boss, we missed him somehow. Alright, I'm just gonna head back now. And it 
it's getting pretty close to wall through time, so we definitely should start heading back towards our main objective, I think. We're starting to um, build up Did I not want to detour to Tromper Caves? Well, I didn't realize it was going to be like way out of the way. Uh, so probably not. Like, I don't know how long that's going to take, you know? And I don't even know what it's for anyway, so it's not like I really have a motivation for it. Um, but there was someone here who wanted that ore. If I remember correctly. Who was it? Was it someone in here? No, 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 it wasn't him. Up here, maybe. This guy talked about needing ore. Can't just leave the forge. How will I get that ore? I have ore, sir. The controller suddenly stopped registering again. Magically. Come on, man. Oh. What was I doing? Yeah, it's even a key item. Crimson ore. This dude definitely wants this ore. I know it. Because it even says it takes immense strength, it could fortify creation, and this dude's a blacksmith. I'm guessing we can't use the blacksmith yet. And so... We're not able to give him the core yet. That's my guess. It's just weird that he would even bring it up if we can't do anything about it. Do we we beat all the bandits in the world? All right, we have to save and restart because uh, my the my controller stopped registering again. Yep, it still is. I mean, at least I know from like Davidson, it said that they had controller issues as well. So I, I think it's probably just a little bit of glitchiness rather than like, I mean, I usually have bad luck with controllers anyways. All right, so we'll just save and reopen this real quick. Sorry, so it gives you a pet chomper plant that acts as a fourth party member. That sounds really cool. But considering we still have to beat this chapter, I don't know if we'll be able to uh, do that. We, we might want to focus on the main quest, though. I don't know how much longer I have left in this chapter. Whoops, I almost stopped the stream. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong thing. Alright, so let me close. Reopen. You know what's weird? I've never really seen this before. The Steam achievements seem to be busted too. I have the first achievement on Steam for beating Chapter 1, and I don't have the achievements for beating Chapters 2 and 3. But in the game, they actually, it says, like, achievement unlocked, so... It's, it's a little strange. I don't think I've ever, like, have you ever encountered that? Like, we're a game... Wait a minute! Why didn't we just save in the village? Why did it bring us to this one? That's very strange. I don't think we did anything else though, luckily, so that's okay. Huh. Did I like not save somehow? I could have sworn we just saved. I mean, I. Huh, I guess it's possible it didn't go through because I was on keyboard and maybe I hit the wrong button or something. Well, in Paper Mario, you only really ever get two, like one partner at a time. And once in a while, you might have a third person who's there for a second that's like for a story purpose thing.
Um... Uh, but anyways, what was I saying? Yeah. Well, but yeah, we we want to we want to focus on beating the chapter tonight. So unfortunately, I think we need to kind of skip over that for now. Partner, as that it doesn't have complex combat abilities like your Mario's. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I already have something from this. Like, do you remember those two really useful looking medals that the doctor had in the B place? Like, I can't even get those right now. I would like to. He the, basically, he has this invention that lets you refight bosses. And I guess if you do some like if you do well on his boss rush challenge, you can earn those medals. Which I really wanted, but like I just didn't have time to do it because I didn't know how long the chapter was going to take. Um, but the thing that a, a thing that Dusk has told me that really kind of disappointed me is that I thought like, oh cool, we can fight the bosses. That means that, or sorry, we can refight the bosses. That means I could t put on the hard mode medal and then fight the bosses, refight them, and then get the rewards. But Dusk has said apparently that doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Which is a little disappointing. Cause I don't I don't see why I win it. You're literally just refighting the boss. And generally you win it like put on a hard mode the first time you're about to fight a boss. Like you would kinda just wanna fight the boss neut like neutrally first, I would think. I don't know. Like, it, on one hand, it's like nice that they give you the hard mode badge at the start of the game, but the way that it works, it almost feels like it would have worked better as like a, a New Game Plus type of thing. Because I don't think I'm going to go into any of these bosses just on hard mode. I don't know what any of them, you know... I don't know what I'm in for. Like, the first two bosses, I, I think we would have been okay, but... Foresight is 2020, as they say. I went the wrong way. We were in the wrong neighborhood for a second. Whoops. Now, how did you hit me when I was underground? Now, how on earth did you hit me while I was underground? That's what I want to know. But then it really... Okay. Um... Yada 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 does it. Wait a minute, on Fridays... Walter time is later than normal. So actually, Walter time isn't about to happen, I think. I forget sometimes that Friday, Fridays and, and Sundays are different. Fridays and Sundays, Walter time's extra late that w way after I've stopped streaming, generally. And on Saturdays, there there is no Walter time. It's just Monday through Thursday. Okay. So actually, yeah, I think we don't need to take a break. We could just keep going. Dang it. Ah, oh, the way they attack. They walk right up into your face and then wait a second and then hit you. So sneaky. How does daylight savings time affect Walter time? Does he observe DST? Uh, yes, he does. So we've all adjusted accordingly. time I was ready for it.
We got one point for that. Those guys hurt us. That That's another weird thing. So in Paper Mario, you do get to a point where fighting really basic enemies will give you one star point. But they're literally pushovers. Like, you'll beat them in one turn every time. Like, these guys actually hurt us a bit. And we only got one, one point out of them. Which I feel like is a little unbalanced. Oh, god damn it. We're, we're pretty messed up. I feel like I should have took a nap or something. Oh, well. Whatever. We'll, we'll just keep pushing on for now. We put the Bug Me Not metal back on. I th think so. Maybe not. Maybe, uh, we might have had to take it off for something. Probably what happened. Hey, thanks. Alright, we're gonna have to... Okay, I have an idea. Hopefully this works. Yeah! That sucker. That sucker. Can't mess with me. I forgot what it was at first. I don't have to really worry about DST. Do you guys really have to change the time on your phones and clocks? Uh, yeah, pretty much what, what Fax said. And this should finish you off. Yeah. Five points. Let me check. I think I might have had to remove it, actually. Yeah, I had to take it off so I could fit on an HP plus, I think. Oh my god, these antlion gels cost five. If we had excess metal points, that would definitely be good. It's only for... Now, here's the thing. I think this is another thing where the metals are kind of off balance compared to Paper Mario. So think of this like this. You're always using Mario. He's your main character. He's going to have the most things attached to him. So if you have a thing that gives Mario a skill, it's like, okay, that's fine. It costs that many points. When you have a thing that gives one of your three people like a, a decent skill or, or effect, that's fine. But it's one out of three characters that are all just as important as each other that may not get a chance to actually utilize it as, as much. So I feel like they maybe should have accounted for that. I guess it's still pretty good. It's just we're, we're really low on metal points in trying to use a lot of these. Um, maybe I should turn Bug Me Not off, because I didn't realize, like... The weak enemies are still hurting us. So, I think it's better to just have that turned on, and then I'll just put this on, because it's the only other one I could fit. You get three metal points on level up, that's much more than Paper Mario. Nope, you get three metal points in Paper Mario as well. In Paper Mario, you have a choice between five health, five... Uh, FP, which is like TP, or three badge points. So that's actually the one thing that matches is the badge points. And normally, remember, I would be cycling through each thing on Paper Mario, so I would have more badge points at this time, at this point in the game. But in this game, like, you slowly gain TP, like, you gain TP at like, what would it be, like 60% the rate of Paper Mario, so I've been having to like dump my rank ups into that a lot. And your HP barely goes up. But uh, anywho. It's different. I feel like the balancing isn't quite as, whoops. Ugh. 
isn't quite as uh, smooth as Paper Mario's, but it's whatever, I mean. It's hard. It's hard to figure that, that stuff out, and then also if you're trying to be different, you know, like you don't want to be completely the same. What am I doing? That's what we should be doing. It'll be interesting going to the original Paper Mario after playing this. Uh, hey! Thank you! So I think it's up this way. Yep, yep, I believe we're going the right way. Cause look, cutscene. Fall back! Whoa! Good thing we healed. That's a badass looking scorpion. Look, it's all scarred up. It's got that Shadow the Hedgehog color scheme. <laughs> what a vicious beast. They really aren't ma making getting all the artifacts simple. Keep, we better stop talking and start fighting. Okay. Alright, V. Why don't you give it, all, give it the old spy. Watch out, phew, Kabu almost got wrecked. This thing's way angrier than a Psycorp. We've gotta knock it out. Besides the fact it's way angrier, it's also a lot more intimidating. I like how there's also just a little one in front of it. I'm here too. Don't forget about me. Ah, uh, we didn't freeze it. You know what? Give it another shot. Ooh, still didn't work. Okay, so far the attack wasn't too bad though. Yes! Oh my god, that ice block is enormous. You just gotta do one damage here. Up oh, two, even better. Uh, let's try this. Oh. Oh, well, come on now. That wasn't very clear, was it? All it said was just, didn't it, ju it just say put in the correct buttons? That is unfortunately another thing I feel like, that sometimes they're not descriptive about the certain things in the game. Like I just wasted five TP Trying that move out. Damn it. I guess we'll try freezing him again. I'm gonna read that more carefully, like maybe I missed something. Oh! That's chill. Alright, let me let me read this. Press the button shown for the command to succeed. That's all it says. It doesn't say anything about wait until you're under the opponent or whatever. I was just following the commands. And like if you see the, a button show up on the screen right away, generally you need to hit it quickly, you know? So I feel like that's not a very good description. It also, it also says it targets all enemies. So you wouldn't think about like accuracy. Anyways, we're going to try this again. Uh, 
Yeah, that's a interesting one. Huh. Okay. Well, now we know how that works. Ah, oh, we don't have to get free TP from doing nothing anymore. Alright. Um... Hmm. Oh, you know what? Wait, what's sturdy? Grants three defense and status immunity for one turn. Converting extra turns into HP. Oh, I must have just thrown that random badge onto a uh, V. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do nothing. Okay. Now, we will do something. And then possibly freeze again. Ow. I just healed for two. Um. Why did I heal for two? Does anybody know why we just healed for two right there? What the heck? I mean, that's good. Do I have a badge? I do remember that sleeping would heal us for one. Like when the turn was over, but like he hit us, we fell asleep and immediately healed for two. Like, I feel like before it was you had to be asleep and then after the turn's over you heal. I don't know. I just don't know. It feels so weird not knowing in this, in the Paper Mario style game. Oh, but we healed again though. I mean, that's great. We just, we just got four health back. Like, if, if anything, the Scorpion's attack on us actually ended up giving us a net increase of health. Poor V ain't looking so good, though. When when V, like, is, is hurt like that, it kind of looks like she's using a cane. Like, she just became old. Ow. I feel like the second one let me block. Doesn't matter. This giant scorpion is finished. See ya! Truly have come far, good job. What the? Okay, Leaf just got wrecked. What the? What is this? Leaf versus what are we? What? I wasn't fast enough. Leaf, leaf. There's no time. Do as I say if you value your friend's life. Come with me if you want to live. It's a failure, yet another one. Disgusting. If it keeps up like this, our research... Sigh. Throw it out with the others. We should call it a day. What the? Where are we? A failure? What are we? You're not a failure, Leaf. Leaf! Leaf! Leaf, please, you have to wake up. Oh, I knock it off already. He lives. I made sure to treat the wound. Just what were those things coming out of them? Doesn't matter. Only that leaf wakes up. Yeah, it was like... Leaf had like these weird tentacles coming out of uh, underneath the... His uh, robe. I, I can't lose someone again. Then stop shaking and he'll come around. Huff, huff. Leaf, goodness gracious, you had me in the most deep of panics. No kidding, he's been shouting for hours. Um, but I was really worried too. Zasp, where are we? What happened? 
You let your guard down like a fool and got shanked. They can't say that. <laughs> they can't say shanked in a in a Nintendo game. Uh, Zasp jumped in and broke that scorpion's face. Don't thank me, I had a debt to settle. Those things inside us, what kind of abomination are we? Leaf, it doesn't matter, it only matters that you yet breathe. That you yet breathe. Okay. I've lost so many, I truly feared we would lose you, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, the doctor said you had weird stuff in you anyways. V Kabu. How touching. I guess my work here is done. Zasp, even with what you said, thank you. It's hard to find good friends. You'd best go get that artifact before Mathiva ends her vacation. That was an enormous ninja cloud. That's right, we heard these voices. Something about research. It must be connected to us. We can't stop now. What if the castle holds answers? Are you going to be okay? It was looking super bad. Doesn't matter if Mathiva gets the artifact. We could always go rest at the inn. No, we can f we f can feel that it's important. We will go. We must go. Would you help us just a bit longer? As if you had to ask, Team Snake Mouse got to get that treasure. Then it's settled. Let us proceed to the sand castle. Alright. Oh, they this pack. Yeah, I'm guessing we'll we'll find a safe spot in here that heals, I'm hoping, so go ahead and put our keys in there. One key. Oh, we put the keys together, okay. I can't they they took away my opportunity to be the count. Both keys at once. Ah ah ah. Oh, that thing's huge. It makes the ant palace look like a cheap inn. Truly, I've never seen such an impressive structure. I wonder if it'd make the queen somewhat jealous. So the artifact must be here then. Will you truly be okay, Leaf? We really can just go back if you feel bad, you know? Thank you for your concern, but we'll manage. Be ready, though. This doesn't look like an easy place to explore. Yeah, we'll find out about that. When I wake up early in the morning, lift my head, I'm still yawning. What the heck? What is this sorcery? Ice magic. Thought you'd seen it before. It's not the same. Ice magic is your thing. True. Could this place be related to us? Only one way to find out. Time to explore. Be careful, please. We've let our guard down too many times during the mission. Keep our eyes open. Uh-huh. That's a new enemy. Maybe I should have went back and healed, cause... Oh! No, no, see, that, that was another situation where we all got auto-healed. So, okay, never mind. I knew I wasn't crazy. There, sometimes during the game, like during key moments, you auto-recover. Not after boss... some boss fights though, I don't know. Okay. Let's spy on this thing. What a fascinating creature. It reminds me of the factory's mender bots. It changes behavior depending on the temperature. Its ice version is weak to my horn. We must make sure to take note of which attacks are causing more damage. Okay. So would it not be good to use? Let's see. Well, we will frigid coffin. Well, now it's just frozen. <laughs> Maybe I should use a uh, Leaf's regular attack and see if it turns it to ice, and then we can. Then we can use Kabu's horn to finish the job, as they say. And there we go, a healing spot. So they just make it cost money. 
Well, we fought these things before, so that's not special. Just bump you out of the way. The music in here is wacky. Warning, high humidity error, regular maintenance of cryo crystal must not be neglected. I will keep that in mind. We need to move something there. Ah! It's one of those puzzles. Oh my god, but it's even worse because like ice like m comes up and down. So you need to memorize where the ice is, I think. That's tricky. So I believe that's what's happening. So, what we need to do is put it this way. I don't think I've ever seen a puzzle like this where the things you're hitting it towards come and go, depending on where, where it is. That could get quite tricky, but let's check out what's in here. Aha! Frost but. Frostbite. Reflects all direct damage taken by a frozen ally to striking enemy with a chance to freeze. Interesting. So your ally has to be frozen for this to work. Well, once again, it has to be one specific ally, and they all get targeted just as much as each other. Hmm. Environmental storytelling. I'm guessing that's how this became a desert. You're probably right. So we opened up that path up there. Which means we probably have to go up here now. What the heck is that? Freaking ice wizard? Is it the ice king? Worries me how used I am to becoming. Uh, it worries me how used I used I am becoming to abominations such as these. It worries me how used I am. Sorry, my brain is must be fried right now. My, this sentence is breaking my brain right now. Becoming to abominations such as these. Um, it is strong, but we are stronger. Let's do this. Haunted Claw. <laughs> okay. Yeah, used to something. But like, for some reason, my brain was seeing that and then used to becoming to. Which just seemed that, I don't know. Something about it was hurting my brain. So I don't know if, um... Oh, used, I'm becoming to. Okay, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying now. It, it maybe could have been worded like how much I'm getting used to or something. Okay, yeah. And yeah, my brain was not accepting that. <laughs> Ice might not work, let's see. Oh no! Still did pretty good damage too. That's good for us. Oh. Apparently it's just... Underneath the robe is just cold draft. Uh, you found a magic ice. This ice cube will never melt. Oh, we gotta give this to that girl. That's perfect. 
Do the hot one. Well, no, not not hot. Like, uh, you know what I mean. You guys know what I meant. Please, you guys know what I meant. Those horns are so silly. And then it becomes like a like an organ you would hear like on an old uh, soap opera or something. Okay, I didn't realize I was just gonna run out like that. Okay, well. Like that one Wings web series. Uh. Wings web series? Sure. Whatever you say, Fack. I'll take your word for it. Uh, let's just do this. Wait, that's for one person. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, didn't see that coming. Maybe I should have. Where they eat the spicy chicken wings? Isn't the show where they try really spicy? Yeah, hot ones, it's called. Uh, yeah, I like hot ones. The host of that show is actually a really good host. <laughs> like, like you think like, oh, it's just a gimmick show with hot wings. But he's actually, like, he's really good at researching his uh, guest and, and asking very good questions. Because there's so many shows or, like, clips of people at, like, Comic-Cons or panels or whatever. And they just get asked the same questions over and over again. And it's like, ah, come on, I want to hear, like... You know, stuff you wouldn't normally hear. And it's not even like it's crazy personal stuff. It's just like, they're just good questions. Open a door in the ancient castle. Cool. Seems useful. It's gonna run out. Hey, we did it. Oh, there's something over here too. We probably want to go to the right. Let's oh, reach it. This is a very interesting mechanic. Do we need to like dig under here? What's going on? Oh god! Oh, we got to turn it off, probably. That makes sense. I think it could be fun to be on a... Yeah, this one's very, like, Zelda dungeon-y. Like, the, I actually really, like, am digging this dungeon. Um... I think it could be really fun to be on Hot Ones. But the one thing that I would worry... Like, obviously, eating really hot wings isn't the nicest thing in the world. And that would kind of suck already. But I would be willing to do that. The thing that worries me is after you've eaten the super hot wings and now you need to dispel of said wings. If you get what I'm saying, I feel like that would be the worst of it. Because that generally for me is kind of the worst part of eating really spicy food anyways. But I feel like that would, it would just be horrible. 
That'd be the one thing that would make me second guess. I would also, um... Do we really need it? Um, not yet. I'd also use a, a, a celebrity diva point and uh, demand that they have ranch dipping sauce because I love like good ranch dipping sauce with wings. I, I love it. Depends on what the ingredients are that's making them spicy. Maybe, but I think generally it's just the heat. Like, the, the way that spiciness works, it's not even that there's something in the food that is burning you, literally. It's it's literally your body is making the, the reaction of the heat because it doesn't like what you're putting in you. If that makes sense. It's all about your body reacting because it's like, oh, this doesn't belong in us. And it's it's creating the irritation and heat. So, I don't know. Who knows? I'm not an expert. Oh, look. Rewinding said ranch is a must. Yeah, I, I love it. I'm definitely a ranch boy. Some people prefer... Uh, prefer blue cheese. Warden. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is too much. A floating head with lasers? I'll bring it down and bury it where it belongs. Good. Wait. We can't... Alright. Dang it. Well, we could ice fall it, at least. Hey, that did it. Yeah, I just mean your body will probably process peppers different from a dry rub or buffalo sauce than different than curry. Yeah, that's true. Um, their sauces are all wet sauces, I think. I don't recall them having any dry rubs. I like I like uh, dry rubs though. Dry rubs are pretty good. I like both. I tend to kind of prefer like a mid-level heat. Like, I don't want it so super spicy that it's just overtaking everything. I definitely prefer it with like a bit of a kick, but I still want like a nice flavor too. Like, I kind of like a, a hot barbecue where it's like spicy but sweet, like a tangy-ness to it. Dry rubs are nice, but you gotta have a lot of drink on the side. Yeah, I mean, like, like a, uh, I was saying, like ranch dipping sauce is uh, definitely help with that too. Mm. Okay, I know what to do here. I know what to do here. I just gotta do the old coops maneuver. Boom, baby. It's interesting that they don't, like, you kind of just have to know from playing Paper Mario that you can do that. That the boomerang, you can let go and it'll fling behind. But I'm guessing most people who play this have played Paper Mario. Ah, uh, we'll fight you. Rewinding says, I can't do spicy food. I eat it a lot a lot of it since it's in almost every Mexican dish but it's not good for me because I actually it actually gives me anxiety when I eat spicy food which sucks oh yeah that's unfortunate yeah I noticed as I've gotten older I'm not like super old I'm in my I'm in my 20s but I feel like spicy food affects my stomach more than it used to like like kind of an indigestion or like stomach ache type of thing unfortunately but if the food is like good enough, I'll still like, I'll, I'll just eat it again. Okay. Um,
Fax said, I'm not a ranch person exactly, but I'll have sauces that are made with ranch as a base. That's kind of how I am with mayo. I didn't really like mayo for a long time since I was little. Like I would have it like a tiny bit on certain things, like on a chicken sandwich or something, but generally I really didn't care for it. And as I got older, I kind of realized like you can make a lot of really good sauces with mayo as a base. Like I love um, garlic mayo and like other sauces. I do have to be just like ranch from like a bottle you would get at the store, no matter what it says, no matter how fancy they claim it to be. It's nothing compared to homemade ranch from a restaurant or diner or like even if you make it yourself. Like the ranch that you make or you would get from like a good, re like not even a good restaurant, just like a restaurant that happens to make good ranch. It's, it's, there's no comparison. Like I wouldn't even bother using bottled ranch with wings because it just, it's not the same. It doesn't taste nearly as good. Um. Just in case you've only really had bottled ranch, because it's it's really not very good. So you might want to try. But if you just don't like ranch, that's fine too. I know I know some people don't care for ranch. I don't think that's very uncommon or anything. Rewinding says had some of those ghost pepper nuggets from BK last week and I was sweating. <laughs> Usually like fast food places when they when they claim to have super spicy stuff it's 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 pretty tamed down cuz you know it, they they don't want people to die. Oh no. Oh no, they still health. I didn't know that I was going to have to button mash. I wasn't ready for that. All right. You're going to pay for that, sir. You're going to pay with your life. I hope you're ready. See ya! What I wanna be ya! Hey, we ranked up! Well, we want more metal points, baby! Ooh, Leaf learned Cleanse! I wonder if that just takes away status effects of on uh, your allies. All right, so now we have more space. Don't need that. This one's pretty good. I... That's pretty good, too. I think, I feel like I would want to give the extra turn to Leaf, so we have extra chance to freeze. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's chill. I already know what we're gonna wanna do here. Oh, I did not roll, go underground fast enough today. I'm assuming this is what we wanna do. Maybe we're just supposed to avoid them actually, I guess we could. I wonder if the shield would defend against the boulder. I'm actually curious. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, we just have to avoid them. But they gave us a good checkpoint. That's nice. Gotta be something over here. No. Never mind. <laughs> oh, well, I should have realized that. Red ones will knock you back. Oh! Ah, so we need to be quick. To get the bolt, gotcha. Okay, okay we, have to, we have to wait a little. Okay, the next one. As soon as it's coming, I fell. <laughs> We 
go, baby. Spike you. Oh! That doesn't look like a warden. Huh. Now they're both warden, they're just different types of wardens, I guess. Hey, now, um, with, um, excuse me, with Kabu, we could skip over the one in front. Didn't do that much damage, but might be just enough. Yep, cool. Wait a minute, did this just lead us back? Hang on. No. Okay, good. Probably just fight these guys so we can keep getting our XP up, honestly. Zero? Oof. Okay. I think one thing I could say is that um, the enemies have a lot of different attacks in this game, I feel like, compared to Paper Mario. Like all the enemies. So that's that's pretty neat. That's probably also another thing that makes it makes them more challenging because you're it's harder to know what they're about to do. Pretty good XP off for them, though. It's cute that they made the XP in this game stand for exploration points since they're explorers. Okay, so this just led us back down here. Kind of crazy that Origami King only had like three or four enemy types outside of bosses. Yeah, that was like one of the disappointing parts of the game. You kind of found yourself doing like the same things over and over again in that sense. I think the boss fights was my favorite part of Origami King. That and like the game did obviously look gorgeous as well. Yeah, we could heal even just for the TP. We have tons of berries. Hey Joe, good to see ya. Did you just get off work? Alright, so hang on a second. Hang on a second.
We haven't figured out how to get up there yet, have we? Oh, you're watching Dune. The new one? Oh, here we go, the window. Sneaky. That's similar to a uh, Hooktail's castle has like a little thing like that. See, I'm lucky I kind of figured that we needed to come this way. I just had to figure out how to get over here. Let's just deal with this guy. Almost wish I'd waited to watch Dune until part two. Oh, did it leave off on like a big cliffhanger? We could just do all our normal attacks and probably take this guy out. It's just one of them. Zero? Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, fact, we've just learned something. We, they don't just lose attack from the t relay. They literally lose attack if they attack more than once at all. Because Leaf did two damage right now, and then doing the same attack, we just did zero damage, which means we lost two attack points. So... Huh. So if we're going to have Leaf always start off with two attacks, but the second attack is... Maybe we should always relay that second attack to someone else then. I wonder if that would work. Um, Joe did not like the final act. It's actually called Dune Part 1. Not a cliffhanger exactly, but things were left very much unresolved. Ah, I see. They really need to be more clear about how these metals work, I feel like. Oh, more XP bonus. Ah, but it was on such a small enemy. XP bonus is awesome when you get it on like a big hall or like a boss fight or something. I mean, it's good to get no matter what, so can't really complain much. Oh, we're supposed to use that, not kill it, I think. First, we felt cold at the tip of our hands before it turned into drops sinking in the sand. Then we felt the cold at our feet before locking the way. Okay, I see what's going on here. So, felt the cold at the tip of our hands before it turned into drops sinking to the sand. So we want to put blocks. And maybe they'll stay frozen since they're in a cold area. Yep, looks like that's the case. Sweet. There we go. Alright. So we felt cold at the tip of our hands before it turned to drop sinking in the sand. Okay, now the drop sinking into the sand. Hmm. So does that mean we want to turn this off now? Yep. Halfway. No, wait, open. That, but just so we can uh, read this other one. Then we felt the cold at our feet before locking the way. But wouldn't that just lock the door? Should I go in there first? Hmm. I don't want to overthink it. Let's just... Let's just do it. Uh, 
Hey fella. Ah. Oh, that was tricky. Alright, Genshin Key, sweet. Everything in the first two acts were epic and amazing and awe-inspiring and they walk around the desert <laughs> crap for the half an hour. Mm. Really good effects and costume prop design in Dune. Don't have to resolve the plot threads to be entertained by that. Yeah, sounds uh, interesting. Especially like if they had a decent budget with like modern era technology. Now let's say we changed spots now. And then leaf. Is this gonna do decent damage? 1-1, one, one. okay, well at least we froze someone. And uh, uh, you can only swap once it looks like. Fair enough. Yeah, it's just when anyone's second attack, it looks like it deals less. That's good to know. I thought it was specifically using the relay option that caused the attack to drop, but no, it's just if anyone attacks a second time for any reason. The only thing that sucks is when um, a movie ends on like unresolved stuff and then they never make a sequel. Ah, okay. Can we read this? Ah! Yikes, I can't tell what this is at all. It seems to be some sort of depiction of the everlasting sapling. Even the artifacts are there. We're impressed, Kaboo. This drawing's quality hasn't aged well at all. <laughs> We've got to bring Neo back sometime. He'd love this. Ooh, I'm glad we looked at that. We gotta check out the person who um, rewards us for filling out our logbook as well. Okay, one of these again. Oh, and then the ice. Ooh, it can only last so long. Okay. And you can only turn on one at a time. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I figured. Okay. So we just gotta be quick. Why did it stop right there, though? There was nothing stopping it. That's a little odd. That's what we want. Mm. There we go. There is the key. Three statues protecting the key. Big ancient key. Yup, that's Paper Mario right there. 
Normally those would be like stone chain chomp drawings that turn real. I was totally expecting that. can hit more than one at a time. That's cool. I wasn't so sure about that. Um. Hmm. I'll just take this one out. Oh no, your attack has gone higher. What will I do? We are doomed. Alright, try your needle. Yeah! Oh no, now your attack is higher. Whatever shall I do? Oh yeah. We about to level up. And I think we're almost at the boss too, so good timing. The question is, do I put more into the medals again? I feel like I should, because there's definitely going to be some medals we're going to want to grab when we head back to town, I think. Probably should have fought that thing outside to possibly level up, but eh, that's fine. Leaf, don't try to scare us. That's not Leaf. Oh, <laughs> correct. That's not even how we speak. That's Roach dialect. This place is not for bugs. Leave or be buried. Did you need to scream as well? Well, yes. Yeah, just one more warning on the heap. Let's get that artifact. Uh-oh. Mummy? Yes, it's a mummy. It's a, it's a mummy roach with a spell book. That's a pretty cool boss design. Is that a roach? It's just a fancy cursed claw. We can feel it. Its magic is just like ours. Our answers must be here. We won't be stopped by it. Let's go. We probably should have healed up before this fight. Yeah, our TP is very low. The Watcher. Like Marvel's The Watcher? Watu? Why can't we ever just grab the artifact? There's always got to be a creepy giant or creepy giant monster. We're super close to the sapling. I'm not going to let you stop me. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Yeah! Alright, let's see if there's like an item we can use. We do have stuff, though. Oh, I used up, like, all my uh, TP-style items, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, this one numbs the eater. Mmm. Gonna give it to V. Sorry, V. Um...
Tell you what, to make up for it, V, we'll also give you Honey Leaf. Alright, now... It's time to duel! It's weird, usually there's a healing spot right before a boss, so... That's another thing with this game, like the way they... they pace and structure out the uh, dungeons aren't always obvious, I guess. Alright, do your thing! Ah, didn't freeze him that time. Oh, no! Okay, we, we know to mash next time that happens. Ah, yeah, well that wasn't the worst thing in the world. Now I assume this would work, but... Let's actually save... Yeah, let's save our TP for... So that way we can just do a normal move to get him out of the ground. Yeah. Just a normal attack. Lay your turn to Leaf, and then Leaf can attempt to freeze. Ah. Seems like the first freeze is more likely to work and then after that it kind of what sandwall press the button shown at the end of the counter oh that's just the normal whatever but okay now there's a sand wall in the way basically okay well i'll just hit you and the sand wall how about that whoops that's like the first time i've done that that was that was bad um Try that again. Oh, we can't try it again. We don't have enough TP. It's okay. Uh, I'll just frigid coffee. No, you still didn't freeze. That's okay. Um, whatever. I'll just destroy this, I guess. Oh, how much health does that have? Do we need to spy on the sand wall? No, you can't. Okay. Oh boy. The boom unfortunately has to focus on the sand wall for now. You just froze my best guy again. Stop it. I need to like put Kaboo in the front. I do nothing for three turns, then I can try to freeze again, but... Oh, yeah. That's fine, we'll just... Whoops! Wrong person, damn it. Oy vey. Oh well. At least that's out of the way. Here comes another one. Well, he still kind of wastes his turn by doing that, I guess. The only person he's really stopping is Kaboo. It's gone. 
Hey, we blocked it that time, but we are hurt. Stop it. We might actually want to take an item because uh, I don't have TP to pep talk leaf back to life if I have to. So let's get a crunchy leaf instead. A giant ice block. That's different. Can I touch it? That's what I'm a little worried about. Okay, good. Ah, but like my horn's strong against the ice block, so that actually just helped me. It's kind of silly. Ah, its defense is higher. Oh, damn that. Ah, you only took one health. Now you're underground. Really could use some more TP right now. I, I screwed myself over by not healing before this. This is indeed a boss fact. A boss that I walked into w without healing because there wasn't any healing places around. I was like, well, surely there'll be a healing thing before the boss. And I was wrong. So I went in with like no TP. But I think we should be okay. It's pretty close to... Yeah, it's defense dropped now too. I was only doing like one damage for a bit. Come on, sucker, you're done. You are out of here. Now, if I had full TP, I bet you I could have beat this boss on with the hard badge on, but I wouldn't have known that ahead of time. We don't want to like waste a whole, you know, boss fight attempt. All right, so. Um, I think I'm gonna do more metal points. Cause surely there's gonna be more metals that we're gonna want. Kuh, tell us, how did you get your magic? Who did this to you? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, oh, he's dead. Hey, a, a fancy jewel. Curses, Leaf. Hey, look, it's the artifact. Don't despair yet, Leaf. It may hold some answers. Go get it before I do. <laughs> okay, let, let Leaf pick up the ancient artifact in the booby-trapped temple. Huh, this isn't the artifact. What? Then what could it be? We don't know, but this doesn't have the same feeling as the others. We did do a murder. Although technically the murdered party was already dead because they were a mummy, so maybe they'll get off that way. Maybe it's up ahead? I really hope there's not another clo- There must be a reason this stone is here though. Let us ask Neo later, for now we gotta push through. Mm -hmm, off we go. Yeah, because the other artifact that we need is gonna look like half of a key. And there it is. Our guess is they never expect anyone to make it to this room, but we did. Team Snake Mouth keeps being awesome. At last, the final artifact. <laughs> we did it. We're going in the Hall of Fame. It's incredible, we must say. These have been sought after since Elizant's time. It was only through our combined efforts that it was possible. You guys can chat it up later. Let's take it and get that reward. You have found the other ancient half. Yup, we beat the boss rewinding on our first try. Braving the desert once more, Team Snake Mouth searched for the last artifact. The team explored the roach ruins and uncovered the hideout of the infamous Lost Sand Bandits. An ambush shone a worrying light on Leaf's condition. 
But in the end, the last artifact was collected. Is the everlasting sapling within reach? So far, all the chapters have been around the same length. Uh, accounting for, like, any technical issues. It's kind of sad, though. I wanted to keep on treasure hunting. We've still got to get to the sapling and help Leaf on his quest. Right, we've got to get back to Neo. Let's go turn this in. Yes, please. Save completed. Let's get out of this place. Oops. I like his little run. It's almost like a half Goku. Whoops. Um, okay, I guess we'll just beat these guys up real quick. Show them who's boss. Le oh, hang on, actually, we gotta get this. Wait. Boom. And then. Boom. And then we can try to freeze everybody. Well, one's better than none. Ow. Sneaky enemies. Ah, that one's underground again. You want to be underground, huh? You want to be underground? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Like B. Should be close to the exit. Yeah, I think we've been making pretty good time with this game. No, yeah, this is the exit, I guess. Well, the way to the exit. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. There we go. Team Snake Mouth. Oh, there he is. What? Zasp, it is unlikely to be so frazzled. Has something happened? The Ant Kingdom is under attack. The wasps have struck. What? What? They've dared to bring the fight to the town? Mativa and the others are fighting. We have no time for chatter. We must go immediately. Let's hurry up then. Uh oh, oh no. I didn't mean. Whoops. Um, maybe I should have saved and stopped before this part. I'm gonna save right there and we'll, we'll continue this next time. But uh, it's good to see the evacuations went well. I will go look for Mativa. Go on, uh, check on the queen and we'll catch up. You're going to fight your own people? Huh, as if I was anything like those pests. Stay safe. Yeah, he's... he's... Va... Vasp? Zasp? Oh, his name must be Zasp, right? Because he's a wasp? I kept calling him Zasp. I'm... I'm... I'm a goofball. I never thought an invasion would happen. I didn't realize he was a wasp this whole time. Neither did I, V, but we must fight. We must protect this town that took us in. No time to waste. Let's freeze this invasion to, to a halt. Okay, so we're gonna save right here. 
We should have, should have attacked the Wasp Kingdom while they were attacking our kingdom, since they're not there right now. That would have... I'm sure there must be a name for that. Oh my god, all these people are all... This is, ho this is intense. What a place to have to take a break. But, um... Yeah, it looks like next time we have a lot of stuff happening. Alright, well, another chapter down. Three more to go. Thanks everyone again for joining. Hope you have a great rest of your Friday night and a, and a great weekend. I'll catch all you next time. Peace out. Buenos noches.